Army, Air Force, and Navy make up the three military academies at the college football Division I FBS level. Sadly for these service academies, they haven't won a national title since 1946, and Air Force doesn't even have a single one. With this in mind, we're going to change that today for each of these football programs. As Coach Gunnar Maverick has had enough, as a military man himself, he's going to take over each program until all of them win a national title. This won't be easy for Coach though, as he won't ever be allowed to recruit five-star talent to any of these schools, and he's only allowed to recruit four-stars if we earn a 10-win season. But these recruiting restrictions mean nothing to Coach. In fact, on top of winning each of these programs a national title, Coach has three goals he wants to accomplish by the end of this video. Those three goals are three Heisman Trophy winners, five Doak Walker Award winners, and five four-star running backs. And if Coach fails any of these three goals, I'll give away $50 to a random comment in the comment section. And we're going to start in the offseason to make this as realistic as possible with like the rosters in real life. They have a ton of seniors, dude. I think it's like 34, so this team's getting absolutely gutted, man. I mean, the good news is I think that all these guys are going to the Army now, right? I think that's how they work, so or they have to sometimes serve, like, maybe later in their life. But either way, dude, these guys are all studs. So, thank you all for your service. You guys are all amazing people. Best of luck to you. But, yeah, Coach Maverick has got quite the overhaul. And this is the recruiting class that the prior coach was able to scramble together. I don't think it's, like, anything spectacular. There's a lot of offensive linemen, which is pretty good. Now, some of these guys aren't scouted, even though this guy's definitely not on the board. I can't delete them though. What the heck is going on there? Is that a glitch or something? My game just freeze? It actually did freeze my game, so I could not touch that air kid. He is cursed. I don't know what's going on there, but I don't really want to find out, but there's like a bazillion offensive linemen. How many tackles? 10? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we didn't sign any running backs though, which I think is a problem for the future, but hey, the prior coaching staff knows that we run the triple options, so I can't think of enough, dude. Like, there's plenty of offensive linemen here for the future. Can't imagine it was a very highly ranked class. Actually, 56. Okay. I mean, I'll I'll take it. So this will be the squad for Coach Maverick in his first year, and the good thing is there are two running backs as two of our four best players, so I like seeing that. Actually, three in the first row, so yeah. Our running back room is definitely set for the future, at least that's what it looks like, but this team is very bad. There's a lot of depth issues. I think we only have four receivers on our roster. We have, like, no linebackers. There's a lot of problems, man. There is a lot of problems, but the good news is, like I said, we have good running backs, and that's basically all this offense does is run the ball, so we're gonna have to keep that tradition going. The offensive line is also rejuvenated but we're gonna need some tight ends because that's very important obviously since we're blocking almost every single play and then our defense we only have three defensive ends in two defensive tackles there's just not a lot of depth on this team dude we have three 40 plus overall linebackers up the middle like there is a lot of holes on this roster man we have three cornerbacks like there's a lot of issues man for coach maverick and we are opening up the coach maverick era week one versus buffalo i don't know how this is going to go to be honest with you because we're only like a 70 overall so my expectations are very low and for this game against Buffalo. We have like a small neighborhood of kids coming for the visit. I don't know how. There's already 14 guys that are that interested in us, but it makes recruiting look like it might be pretty easy for Army, man. Holy cow. I don't know how so many guys visiting, like I said, but we can somehow win this game. We might be able to pick up some commitments, Coach Maverick, and this team definitely needs it, man. So please just try and win, guys. It's not going great. It's almost halftime. We're already down 10 points. We really need to get seven right here. Honestly, I feel like we should just run it right here. With the box that they're playing, this should be a touchdown, right? Yes, go! Oh my gosh, dang it, dude. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think I am. This is definitely stupid. There's no probably. This is without a doubt stupid, but I believe. Just get out of there. Run. Quarterback's fast. He's fast. Let's go. Good job, Bryson. Let's go. Okay, we got a chance to take a lead in the fourth quarter. We gotta make it happen. Come on, Bryson. A little motion in the backfield. What the heck is going on here? Okay, I don't know how that just happened. Circle, it's open. Let's go, it worked, all right. And the defense clutched up, getting us a stop, so all we need is a first down right here, and we can escape with a W. Okay, let's go. Come on, guys. A little toss action. Okay, does this actually work? Cut it inside. A face mask, that's a flag, you can't do that. Zebra man, call it. Yes, it is. Okay, so I think that, actually, they had three timeouts. Definitely not GG's. We're gonna need to get another first down. They gotta read this correctly, Tanner. Come on, buddy. Okay, it's a keeper. Yes, it's a give. Actually, it's pitch late. A touchdown, that could be a touchdown. Let's go. <laughs> SMG, go, let's go. That ice is the game, giving Coach Maverick his first win of his coaching career. Army, let's go, boys. Oh my gosh, dude, talk about an awesome first week as head coach. Look at all the commits. Yes, dude. There was a lot of guys that were surprisingly interested in coming to Army. I did not expect that. They have like really good program tradition on here. So yeah, dude, recruiting might not be that challenging for Coach Maverick, dude, because we have a boatload of commits already and it's only year one. Let's go. We definitely did not carry that momentum to a good season. Three 
29, rough, man. Just rough. Lost to North Texas, Northern Illinois. We actually beat food, so that was two out of our three wins. Actually, we also beat Stanford, but most of these games are just, they're not really close. Like, some of them are, but there's just, there's a lot missing, man. This team is, uh, it's a little ways away, that's for sure. I mean, Bryson, I can't imagine, was very good because he doesn't really throw the ball. I mean, he only had four interceptions. That's not too bad. How do we do running? That's really what matters most. Hayden was pretty okay, but yeah, these averages have got to get bumped up if we're going to have a good dynasty with Army, bro. Like, three, six, four, three, four, four. We, they got to get at least to the fives, man, if we're going to have success as a triple option team. Receiving, though, obviously not much action here. Liam Fortner, though, got most of our receptions and five touchdowns. How about defense? I know our defense was really crappy. Josiah Banks is pretty good, but the good thing is most of this team is somewhat young because we had 34 guys graduate last year, so we will be seeing these guys for another season, so I'm not too upset. I mean, I knew we'd suck. And with how the first recruiting class went for Coach Maverick, I have no doubts he's going to be an absolute superstar. Like, this recruiting class is incredibly solid for what we need. The lowest overall is a 62 tight end, 60 tight end as well. You guys know we needed some of those, especially the offense we ran. I mean, I have no complaints. A lot of these guys are going to be solid players for the future, and we're going to have a full 25-man class, as you guys also know. We desperately need all the depth we can possibly get right now. So, yeah, very, very happy with this haul. On and off season, guys, graduate. I'm sure all these guys could probably do, like, 500 push-ups in a row, so that's very impressive. You guys got that going for you in your lives. You guys are also very disciplined human beings, but there's really not that many of you leaving, so. Transfer portal time, we picked up a guy, James Falk. Now, I do need to think about this. I gotta take him, right? Yeah, 73 overall, because if we take him, we're gonna lose a scholarship, and there's only, what, like, two scholarships left because our recruiting class is so big? So, with taking this guy, we're only gonna have one scholarship left, so we're gonna have to be smart and tactical about that on Saturday day. Honestly, I'm just gonna go after Myron Gonzalez. Now, I am worried about Rob Woods committing to us, because he's, like, so close, so I think what's gonna happen, knowing my luck, is Rob Woods is gonna commit and take that scholarship away from Myron, and we're gonna be screwed. I really hope we could just get Myron, dude. Please, just commit Myron before Rob does. That's all I really need to have happen, please. Let's go, Coach Maverick. I don't know how he did it. He must have told Rob that, hey, dude, you're, you're kind of left out. I'm sure Rob was very upset about that. I'm sure that was a very difficult conversation, but good job, Coach Maverick. We got Myron Gonzalez, dude. Yes. So that makes this the class for this year. Honestly, there's still some things on this roster that we need. Like, I think it's as simple as that. Like, we only had, like, four corners on our roster, or, or five, but we only signed one, so we still definitely need quarterback, and I still need to recruit, like, a dual threat quarterback, so yeah, there's definitely still some things we need, but yeah, this class will go a long way, dude. Dane Cole is a big boy up the middle, though. JP Sparacio, he's right up the middle, middle linebacker. Dante Cook really needed receivers. We got Myron Gonzalez, running back of the future. All in all, dude, just a lot of depth, man. I think next year, I'm gonna try and go after more quality, but this roster still has some weaknesses on it, so maybe I'll blend the two. 42nd ranked class. All right, pleasant surprise, Coach Maverick. Dude, he has shown his prowess on the recruiting chart earlier on in this video, dude. I love it. Year two is here, and expectations realistically, maybe four games. I mean, this seems still really bad. <laughs> it's not a good situation, bro. Like, the coach before us did an awful job with this roster. I think Army's like a 72 or something. Now they're like a 70-something-ish. So, yeah, they're not great. And we had all those guys graduate, too. It's honestly, it's just been an onslaught of bad things. Quarterback is one of those things. I mean, we have decent situation here. Dwayne Coleman for the next two years, and then Carson Gordon, 93 speed. This guy's gonna be a beast in the triple option, but as you guys can see, though, we have no third string. So, either this year or next year, we're gonna need to get a dual threat, triple option type quarterback to try and run this offense. That's obvious. Same thing with corner. We still need some of these, too. We got one guy last cycle, but that's not nearly enough. I need to try and land like three or four. And it's the same thing with wide receiver. We still have those two needs, but we address defensive line. We address linebackers, so I'm pretty happy with how things are going so far. Whoa, talk about a year two jump. I don't know how, but we're six and two. Okay. And the first two games were both losses by seven and by three, but since then, we've been on a six-game winning streak. We won 62 to 59 against SMU. <laughs> what? It's been a very strange season, but it's been a season full of a lot of success, so I have no complaints. I don't know how Coach Maverick's doing it, too, but recruiting has been so easy this video. Maybe I just, like, have finally figured out why Army does so well in these videos. Like, so many good players want to come here, bro. Like, these are only the three stars. I'm not even recruiting four or five stars yet, man. Like, I can't recruit five stars this entire video, but you know what I mean. We can't even recruit four stars right now. And these classes are, like, top to bottom studly. Like, this is going to be another 20-plus man class, and I have no complaints. It's just so good. I don't know how we keep doing it, Coach Maverick but he has just killed it on the trail. Got a game this week, though, coach, and we are playing Rutgers, who somehow is a rival, like, 
don't understand the whole maybe it's because they're both like really old programs because isn't Rutgers born in like 1863 or something they're like the birthplace of college football I think maybe that's why so that makes sense early on it's looking like they might score first I mean I don't really mind it as long as it's not a touchdown that would be nice okay toss to the outside tackle please Madison oh god dang it dude it's just out of my reach this game is incredibly low scoring do we haven't even scored yet we gotta change right here got this little motion thingy it should be a handoff to our fullback for a touchdown right or a running back yeah easy that triple option dude it's goaded. Good job, Kyle. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's tied late in the game. I need a clutch up right here. I do not need to choke this game. We just need to get a field goal range. As simple as that. Come on, Tanner. X. Oh, square. It's a lot of yards. Oh, that might be field goal range. Go, oh, Cleaver. Oh, gosh. Okay, you got to stop short. I think we have a decent Yeah, We need to get one more first down. Just to make sure. R1. Is that a first down? There we go. We should definitely be a field goal range now. We just need to make sure we nail this kick. Dude, I didn't realize our kicker was huge, bro. Put him at middle linebacker. Oh, my goodness. All right, just make this kick, large man. Come on, please. That should go through, right? Wine. Oh, thank God. I thought for a second he was going to shank it, dude. That guy's huge, but he can't kick worth a lick. Let's go. Good W, boys. How did we end this season? We beat Miami of Ohio. Cool. Lost to Stanford, the smart people in overtime. And then we... Oh, my goodness. We killed Navy. Let's go. Rivalry game action right there. One by 20. So we finished 93 year two. Quite the jump. Six win jump, right? Oh, my goodness. Coach Maverick, bro. 17 touchdowns. Only three interceptions for Dwayne. He's going to be back for next year, too. I'm curious. How did he run the ball, though? He was our third leading rusher behind Hayden Reed, the big boy, and also Kane Odo. I told you guys we gotta get to like five yards per carry for like our top couple rushers. That's exactly what we did. We spread the ball around. Looks like Dwayne didn't run the ball as well, but it's not really shocking. He's a quarterback. Receiving, don't expect much here. Dante Cook, the true freshman though. He had the most receiving yards and receptions. Good for you, bro. I don't know how he had more than Noah Shore. That's interesting. Defensively though, he's definitely way better this year. Looks like we got the most TFLs with Dre Miller and he also got the most sacks. So good job, Dray. So with a solid 93 season that earns us a bit of the military bowl. I don't think I've ever played in this bowl game before. Is this like exclusive to Army? That would make sense though because SMU's in it too. I don't know. Interesting. But yeah, I'm excited, man. Well, that's not cool. They scored first and they're inside the 10-yard line. I feel like this type of game with the snow would benefit us, but it has not so far, dude. We're getting bent over. Run commit? Okay, did not run commit. I probably should have. Dude, there's not a soul out there. I don't even think a run commit would have done anything, bro. This is not going well. I don't know what happened, dude. Do we have like a bad MRE before the game? Like, dude, we're getting killed right now. We gotta get seven or you're so bad. Circle, get out of there. X, no, X, please, please, please. Yes, thank you, he scored. <laughs> yes, thank you, Hayden. Uh, it's just not our day, man. It's just one of those days where you just, you pack it up to an absolute L. You, sometimes that happens. Like, with me, a bad day classifies when I have to put together, like, a chair. It takes people, like, four hours, because I am not savvy when it comes to tools or anything like that. So, maybe it was just that kind of day for us today on the football field, bro. I have no idea, but maybe we can get, like, an interception or a fumble or something, but I doubt it. Should I just wreck him it? Larkin? Dude, are you... <laughs> Man. Never thought I had to say this this video, dude, but we definitely need to hit the weights, that's for sure, this offseason. And here's the beginning of that offseason process. Players leaving the stage. Hayden's gonna be guy, which kind of sucks, but I'll be honest, dude, like, none of these guys are that spectacular. Like, some of the guys that we got in this recruiting class are better than these guys, so, yeah. Coach Maverick may miss your guys' like, personalities and stuff like that, the relationships, but it definitely will not be your football acumen, because you guys were not that great. Onwards to Saturday, Caleb Bragg with two Gs, the guy we really want. Also, Ernie Lewis. Yeah, I love Ernie's in the world. Uh, Devate and Zach, there's just really no point. I mean, I could try and get both that, but I'd rather just get Caleb and Ernie. You guys know we need defense really bad, and we already have a quarterback commit, so I don't think there's really any point in trying to go after Devante. Coach Maverick is up to level 14. That's got to be a good sign, right? Oh, my God. Caleb, how did... Boston College, bro. They had to put their entire arsenal into him. How? I mean, this sucks what happened with Zach. I didn't even put any points into him, but it still would have been nice to have gotten him. How much we... Dude, what? The math? Like, wh huh? What? How do we lose by 16,000? Usually when that happens, it's like a scholarship thing, but we have more than enough scholarships to give to Caleb, dude. That should not be a problem because we have, what, 20 guys? Yeah, 20 scholarships. We have five left and we couldn't give one to Caleb? It is what it is. I can't complain. This class is phenomenal, dude. This is by far one of the best. I can't say it's one of the best because i've had videos with like michigan and alabama and like auburn and stuff like that but like this is one of the best starts to a video i've had with a team that's not like a power maybe just army in like 20 
2014 or 2013 was like a lot better than I remember, but like recruiting's been really easy. Like Aaron Frazier's a stud, so is Tay Griswold, uh, Travian Poirier. I mean, dude, there's like, we got a quarterback of the future, Gary Golden. Like, I don't have any complaints, bro. Like, this class is insanely solid. And it's another really somewhat highly ranked class. I mean, we gotta keep in mind we can't sign any four stars, so the class is not gonna be ranked that high, but yeah, dude. Oh, we're also up to a two star team prestige. Okay, let's go. This team is remarkably better than the team of the last two years. It's legitimately night and day, dude. I feel like I'm looking at an Oreo and I'm looking at a mango. It's literally, like I said, night and day. One's awesome, one tastes amazing, the other one, you'd rather brush your teeth than eat it. So that's just how I feel right now. This team is so much better, dude. I freaking love the progress we're making. Dwayne is going to be our guy at quarterback once again, but I'll be honest, I cannot wait for this kid, Carson Gordon. 94 speed. I tried to recruit a quarterback with really high speed, but the fastest one I could find was 78. So Carson Gordon might just be a unicorn. I don't know how he has such high speed. It doesn't make any sense, but Dwayne's very good. So I'm excited to see what you can do in his senior year. When it comes to the rest of the squad, though, Kanye Udo is a stud at running back, bro. Six foot 230. We got a really good secondary cornerback, free safety, strong safety, and free safety. Holy cow, dude. Look at all the crackers that are secondary. What the heck is going on? Literally, we have three safeties and they're all Caucasian. Oh my goodness gracious. Thankfully, though, Jackson's back there. He'll bring us some athleticism because he is by far the fastest guy back there, dude. Oh my gosh. As for the schedule this year, I really haven't touched this at all during the video because I feel like it's kind of disingenuous because we don't have any teams we have to play per the challenge of the video. So I've just been letting the CPU do it. It looks like this year's schedule is one of the hardest of the video, probably the hardest because it's a C minus. So we got to play some ranked teams. We're playing Duke again. I feel like they schedule sometimes the same teams over and over, man. Ugh, I don't know. Maybe I'll change it in a few years, but I feel like it's okay for now. Should have changed it, dude. We're four and three. We're coming right back down to reality, man. We're struggling, especially on defense. I feel like the defense is really having a hard time this year. I mean, it's a 78 overall. I can't expect it to be like a lead or anything. Lost to Duke by two. Lost to Miami of Ohio by five. Dude, like we're in so many shootouts, man. Ugh. I don't know who SU is out at Syracuse. Lost them by seven. So all of our games that we've lost have been close and they've all been shootouts. So if the defense was better, we could be undefeated right now, but they suck. And I feel like a broken record at this point, but recruiting is like so easy. I, I don't know, like all these running backs want to come here, which I get because they get the ball like a thousand times a game. But like, dude, it's absolutely insane. Like <laughs> recruiting has just been so easy this video, dude. This is like a complete 180 from like all the created teams I do. Like even when I do like the uh, Oregon State and South Carolina videos, like I don't know if recruiting was this easy. Like seriously, it's insane. Like I already have like a billion commits, dude. It's not even the end of the season yet. It's so awesome. This week we are playing our fellow Service Academy Air Force. I'm excited to do it with Air Force, bro. Don't they run the triple option too? Like all three of these teams have stopped running the triple option as much. I don't really care though. I'm still going to run it in this video because that's kind of the whole point. I think it's fun. But yeah, I need to focus. We got to try and beat. I think we're rivals. So we got to beat our rivals. Shoot, dude. They're already in the freaking red zone. We got to try to hold them to three though. They're running the triple option. We see this in practice every day. Come on, guys. Don't act confused. Interception. Come on, it's third and forever. Yes, let's go. Who, who is that guy? Campbell, I like him. Chunky soup. That guy is tall. He's got long arms. Let's go, man. That's what I needed right there. Defense, good job. Okay, I will take this. Got the lead up for. I mean, it's a low scoring game, obviously, since we're both running the ball, chewing the clock. Let's just see if we can get another stopper here, though, defense. Come on. Big boy versus big boy. Who wins the big boy battle? And they do. We actually have a chance. Okay, I thought that they would pull away eventually, dude. Okay, we need to get a stopper here, though. If we do not, we are definitely screwed. We're not commit. Up the middle. We're not commit. We're not commit. Please, dude, what? Are you see- Dude, oh my gosh. I am gonna cry a million tears, bro. Okay, maybe we still have a chance. I doubt it, but I, I ran commit up the middle. I'm not gonna run commit after what happened last time. Come on, defense. Just play stingy. Okay, it's a handoff up the middle. And another first down. It's over. Gosh dang it, dude. We're falling apart this season, bro. Maybe not. What the heck? Did we finish, like, the rest of the season winning every single game? 8-4? and four? Is my math mathing? Dude, I actually think that we finished the season. Oh, my gosh. We did. Oh, we didn't beat anybody good, though. Old Dominion, South Alabama, Vanderbilt, and Navy. But, hey, man, I'll take it with how the season started. Looks like the defense got a little bit better. Not much, though. The defense was so trash this year. Dwayne had a solid senior season, it looks like. 60 touchdowns, 2 receptions. That was all we really need out of a quarterback is just take care of the football and run the ball as well. Kanye was really good. Six yards per carry. Dwayne was our second leading rusher. Let's go. Then Jordan Owens up here as well. Receiving it was Jeremy Brooks this year. Last year, I think it was Dante Cook. So I don't really know how that that's confusing because last year, Dante got like all the receptions. I don't know how that works. That is confuzzling. Defensively though, definitely the weakness of the defense. We got Casey Larkin with the most tackles. Most TFLs was Dane Colehay. 
the true sophomore. Good job, buddy. Good those sacks too. Good job, Dane. Recruiting wise, these just keep going beautifully. Only have two guys left on our board. We should be able to get both of the offseason. We picked up the Deontay guy though. He's got dreads. Absolutely love his hair. It's freaking awesome, dude. So yeah, really happy about that. We picked up some new guys as well, but this recruiting class, it's just I don't understand it, dude. It's just so easy to recruit this video. I freaking love it, man. And we are back in the same exact bowl game. Is this like the only bowl game we're allowed to play in until we make the playoff? I feel like that might be the case. I don't really know, but either way, I played somebody new this year though. USF. Apparently, this is a toss. I don't know how this is gonna work. Okay, that's cool. Can you get touchdown? I think it's going to be. Let's go. Good job, Jordan. Late in the game, just like every other game, it's very low scoring, so there's really not much action to show, but they have a chance to take the lead right here, so defense, just don't let them do that. Let's just try and force to a field goal. I don't like playing man-to-man -man in this situation, not gonna lie. I get burned all the time with this, so it looks like it works. Let's go! I sack! So they are taking their field goal. Mission successful. Good job, defense. So we ended up scoring a touchdown, and they ended up scoring a touchdown, so we're up two points now. We need to recover the side side, though. Please don't muff it. Thank you, too. That happened last video. I was very, very sad. Okay, just get... Actually, we're gonna need, like, yeah, probably one first down. That should be good. And in order to get that first down, we have to convert a third and 11. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Okay, we got this. I believe. Circle. Get out of there. Get out of there. Square. Square. We can throw a square. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> that means we iced the game then. Let's go, dude. Last year we lost it. This year we won it, boys. Good job. Another nine-win season for us. Now we're at the player's living stage. We got a guy transfer, Jaquan Burrows. He's a wide receiver. I mean, I can't really be upset. The guy I transfer if I was a wide receiver here, too. But for the graduates, really not losing, like, that many players when it comes to, like, numbers. But, like, we're losing some quality players like Dwayne, Gavin, also losing Colin and Casey. So our secondary with our safeties is basically all gone and our quarterback as well. We only have like seven graduates too. That's it. We got both guys on Saturday day. Jared Brown. I also love his hair. That's sweet. And then Stone Lanos. So that means we have another 20-man recruiting class. I'm signing way too many guys, bro. I have to cut like a boatload of guys this offseason. I am not looking forward to it. Honestly, this year, I tried to go after more quality too, but there was just so many guys that wanted to come here. Like the lowest overall is a 68, bro. <laughs> like this, oh man, I'm just so happy, man. I did sign a lot of receivers though which is probably not smart so yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'm gonna have to cut a lot of guys this offseason which i am not looking forward to deontay leblanc looks like a stud so does jared brown i mean there's just so many like just solid players that'll be really good in the future like all these guys would be like in the high 80s or low 90s by the time they're redshirt seniors so uh, i mean they're all gonna be good probably somewhere in the 50s again if i were to guess oh up to 43rd i think that's the highest ranking of the videos so far we're also up to a three-star team prestige band how did the offseason workouts go oh my goodness Kanye's up to a 96 bro we are gonna feed that man the ball he better be ready for i don't know how many carries at least like 200 i'd assume but obviously with the military you got these rigorous trainings and stuff like that so all these guys his pain tolerances are absolutely insane like if they probably got bit by like a snake or something i'm sure they wouldn't even flinch so yeah these guys are all very very hard working men with a lot of good work ethics so that's really not the concern is the training i mean look at all the plus sixes dude my goodness bro these guys definitely grind the thing that we're working on is talent level and i feel like slowly but surely we are raising that right now because this team is definitely gonna be solid and i was right six and one i mean the offense really hasn't been that good as you guys can see only 188 points for but the defense surprisingly is kind of carried i mean it also helps that we run the ball every play so obviously there's gonna be less possessions our only loss was to do at home by 10 but besides that i mean gosh do we beat nobody good though so what can i really take away i mean the best team that we've beaten is five and two north texas bro every other win it's just not impressive recruiting this year is a lot different too like i'm not going after as many guys because i had to cut 16 guys last off season and i absolutely dreaded every second of it dude so i'm only going after 13 guys this year and i don't even know if i'm gonna get all 13 but we do already have three in the fold we have jagger swinson lee candidate and our new kicker of the future elijah sanir so really happy about those three guys this week though we have a death wish we have to play georgia at home the good news is it's snowing where it's gonna try and limit possessions and make this as low scoring as possible i feel like that's our only chance of this game even being close because i honestly expect a slaughter for this game against georgia for some reason we decided this to be the visitors weekend i don't think it's gonna go too well but hey man coach maverick is a confident cat that's all i can say hopefully his confidence will pay off and these guys will commit if we can somehow win do not let them score first. hand off no it's a keeper die 
dude self-sabotaged the defensive end was like dry humping me. I couldn't get out there in time, dude. Frick. It ain't going well, dude. We have like 42 yards of offense. It's like Georgia knows our playbook or something. Like, obviously, we like to run the ball, but they are just killing our triple option right now, dude. It is not effective. We need to try to get a stopper here, though, defense. I got clicked off, dude. I'm on the defensive tackle. <laughs> it's just the easiest touch that ever, dude. Frick. If the clock has already struck midnight, I think it's about to. It's just not going well, man. I figured this game would not be great for us. I'm just glad they're only down like 16, but they're going to score again, though, so it's not going to be 16 at the end. We'll see what happens, though. Maybe we'll get like a fumble or something lucky. Who knows? Oh, it's a run. It's a pitch, dude. They're literally running the triple option against us, dude. Oh my gosh. It's like we're looking in the mirror. Well, would you look at that? We still got some guys to commit. Was that those guys at the top? We got Jaquez Stallworth, uh, Jeff Griffin, Steven Beaton, and McCallie Rogers. So we got a fullback and a putter. So those are two team needs. I'll take that. How did we finish the season, though? We lost to Air Force. Dang it, dude. The Commander's Classic. That's a cool little logo at the top. I like that. We beat Fresno State and Tennessee. Whoa. And then we finished the season beat Navy. So we've been on a three game run. Run. I don't know how we beat Tennessee on the road. <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. So we finished what nine and three. We're also ranked seventeenth of the country. Okay. The question turns to how did we run the ball? It looks like Carson did not throw the ball very well. Yeah, gosh, dude. Eight touchdowns, six interceptions. As long as he ran it well, I won't really be upset. And oh, Jordan ran for two thousand yards. How did he get way more carries than Kanye? He was a ninety-seven. I don't know. This is confusing me. And then Carson only averaged three three per carry. What the heck is going on? I I don't know exactly what occurred this year. Like, Jordan definitely got way more attempts than everybody else. He could win the Doak Walker with 2,000 rushing yards. That's an insane number. Receiving, though, not much. My goodness, dude. Did we run the ball more this year than we have in years past? I didn't change anything, but it sure feels like it. Defensively, Isaiah Burrow was our best player. Who got the most TFLs? Paul Bean. And he also got us the most sacks. We didn't really get much disruption in the backfield. I mean, our defense was definitely better than the offense this year, at least for the most part. So, it looks like they just kept everything in front of them. Really? Not even in, like, the top five of the Heisman? Okay. I mean, I'm guessing that he, um, won the Doak Walker then, right? Military Bull against same freaking thing as last year. That blows. Did we win any awards? What the heck? Oh, okay. Dude, what? He's not even in the top 12... Dude, I am, okay, maybe I, like, overestimated the amount of Heismans and Doak Walkers I can win this video, but, like, how is he not even in the top 12? Like, his stats are so much better than everybody else's. Like, even the best guy had, like, 1,700 yards, and he had 300 more than that. I am so confused, dude. All I can say, Jordan Owens, is you're getting shafted, dude. He got 21 touchdowns, too! Like, how? I don't know. I don't know, man. Let's just get out of the bowl game. Probably the same team as last year. So far, it's going really well. We're already at three points, and we're at the goal line, so let's just punch it in. That's right. If we win this game, we can get a 10 season. We can recruit four stars next year. We got to try and focus right here, dude. Let's just hand it out to our fullback. A little motion for window dressing. Easy touchdown, right? Good job, Kyle. This game has gotten super intense, bro. We're only at three points late in the fourth quarter. It's been low scoring once again. We need to just get one first down, and I think it should be game over. Get out of there. You're fast. X. Perfect. Okay, that's first down. I think that might be GG's. I don't know, though. I don't know, because it, yeah, it's probably not GG's. We might need to get one more first down. Good job, Kanye. Oh, that's going to be a first down right there, though, isn't it? Kanye! Yep, it's GG's, dude. Good W, boys. Uh, it was a little scary at the end there, but we got the dub. It's all that matters. Cannot wait to be able to recruit four stars next year. Cannot emphasize that enough, but Masai Taylor is transferring kind of sucks, but with all the new young guys we've had the last, like, two or three cycles, it's not really shocking. Kanye is going to be our first draft pick of the video, dude. I don't know why he didn't get more carries this year. I don't, like, he was was number one on the depth chart but he like never got the ball this year it was a very confusing situation but also jackson's gone james falk jordan owens who should have been the doak walker award winner like we're losing some key guys man i think that's uh, pretty obvious but we're at the stage of the video where we could just replace these guys with hopefully better players i will say though for signing to this year we're going to our good old tried and true strategy the 69 9 000 for nick champagne and then six thousand for christopher i really want both these guys because we only have what 10 commits right now and we really need like save Safety help, and we really need another tight end. So I feel like these would be two really big time wins if we can pull it off. I told you, dude, the strategy is tried and true. It's undefeated. We got Champagne and we got Kennedy. So really happy about both these guys. Giving us the 36th. Oh, we had two four stars walk on. Well, the good news is since we just had a 10 win season, we can actually take both them. So it works, but maybe they're both buzz because whenever you have four stars walk on, they're walking on for a reason. Everybody else scattered them or like, yeah, that guy's poop. But here are the guys that we actually signed and sent scholarships to. 12 guys, lots of all of our class, but that was by design. We got all three of our team needs. Needed a fullback, needed a kicker, needed a punter, and we got all three, and we got a really fast uh, quarterback, too. So, all in all, dude, I really have no complaints. I think this is a 
uh, really solid class. Wow, Doran 88 overall this year. All right. It looks like we're going in the right direction, even though they think we'll fall off from 14 to 23 or four years from now. I don't know, dude. I feel like we've been recruiting like pretty well, to be honest with you. I think this year's recruiting class, though, we're going to need to get some like studs, like 75 plus overalls, because that would really help us out in the future. But yeah, man, we're clearly going to be a top 25 team for the foreseeable future, which is nice. Start of the season winning 52 to 38. So the offense, it should be good this year. Like, I've got high expectations for Carson. How do we run the ball? Oh my goodness, dude. Feels like everybody got the love. I don't really know how we won by so much. How do we score 52 points? We didn't really have that many yards. Yeah, only 403. Huh. So the I don't I don't know. I'm very confused how we scored 52 points, but we did. Playing Duke this week. I don't know what it is. The CPU schedules them like every season. This year we're playing them on the road. They're actually like a top 15 team. So this could potentially be a nice little upset for Coach Maverick and the Army uh, Knights. Let's go, boys. Let's try and pull it off. Honestly, I think we're just gonna run it right at them. We're bigger, stronger, faster, tougher. We're army, dude. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna work. Let's go. Good job, Myron Gonzalez. Nothing's really happened since. We're still up four points. Let's just keep scoring though, Carson. Could not be content. Oh god. Oh god, get out of there, Carson. You have 96 speed for a reason. You gotta use it, dude. Oh, this guy's so fast! Oh, oh, he got killed. Come on, Carson. A little motion in the backfield. Can I just run out of there with Carson? He's fast. 96 speed. <laughs> Let's go, Carson. Things are looking quite beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. We're up 10 points still. I mean, we're doing things really, really well. We just gotta get another first down. I mean, we're already in field range, so it should be GG's. Just get one more first down. We're running right at him. Oh, 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 dude, this offense is so filthy. I didn't even realize that was a fullback diamond. That was a run to the running back. Let's go. <laughs> I'll take it, dude. It was a really good year. Somehow we're ranked in the top 10. I don't quite know how. Like, our point differential isn't that far apart, so I'm guessing we had a lot of close games. We lost two games this year, though. That's progress. Be Hawaii, Buffalo. Yeah, a lot of these games are close, dude. Not Texas A&M, though. Ooh, we got blown out there. Beat clubs in an overtime. Lost to Air Force, though. Oh, man. We had a lot of overtime games, it looks like. Two of them. Beat Washington State, Oklahoma State, and Navy. So, we just had a way harder schedule this year, bro. Like, we played a lot of good teams, and we finished 10-2. Like, I'm pretty proud. The question turns to, how did Carson do this year? It's gotta be better, Carson. Oh, man. I just, I don't know what's missing with him. He's got 99 awareness. Like, there's really no excuses, but he just needs to take better care of the football, bro. Like, five interceptions. It's, it's just, it's too many, bro. But it looks like we ran the ball really well. Carson, again, like, does he just not run the ball? <laughs> I thought he'd be an absolute cheat code at quarterback with his speed, but he just doesn't use it. It looks like we had two 1,000-yard rushers, and they're both going to be back for next year. So that is very, very exciting. This guy, 22 touchdowns. <laughs> This is just awesome. Receiving really no action here. Darius Duggan was our best receiver. Dante Cook has always been solid, but he just never gets the ball. We just don't pass enough, man. Defensively, oh my goodness. Shaquille Haplia, dude. 114 tackles. That's insane. He had 20 TFLs and six sacks. Oh my gosh. Paul Bean actually led the team in sacks, but dude, the defense was way more disruptive this year, which is awesome. As for recruiting this year, it's really been great. Like I said, I wanted those tip top, more elite guys. What do we do? We got a 78, a 78, a 79, and 84, bro. We also got two four star running backs, so we only need three more for the rest of the video. I might have like downplayed that, like how easy it would be, because we only need to get five for the entire video and already get two, but hey, who knows? Maybe it'll like work itself out later on in the video. Maybe I just got really lucky this year. I have no idea. Yeah, but this class is really solid. I have no complaints. Top to bottom, I think we did an awesome job. Well, at least we're actually the top five of the Heisman this year. Anais Williams did not have better stats than Myron Gonzalez, but you guys saw last year. Stats basically mean nothing. Maybe he won the Doak Walker. Maybe we got lucky. Uh, it doesn't really matter if he has to, but we'll see if we make the playoff or not. I haven't decided yet what's going to happen. We got the Chuck Ben Eric for the guy that had like over 100 tackles. No surprise there. Bronco Nagursi for the same exact guy. Come on. Doke Walker, Dick Buckus, he got every award imaginable for it, and we did not get the Doke, dude. God dang it. We actually did make the playoff. We're sitting at the 10th spot. We got to play 11-2 Auburn, though. I don't really like our draw. There's a lot of good teams in this. I doubt we go far. I'm sure we're going to lose in the first round, but hey, we're going to give it our best. 1,000% transparency. I have negative idea what's going on. How are we winning 3 to nothing in the second quarter with the ball at the goal line? I don't know, but somehow I have to read this defensive end, even though he's literally like two feet away from me. This can be challenging. It's a keeper. Keeper. Yes, let's go! Oh, okay, we might be able to pull off an upset. Let's go, Carson. I am just like, I don't... Well, I just... <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know what's happening, bro. They can't score our defense. I mean, let's just score again. Let's move on to the next round. I don't know how it's happening, dude. This team's literally a 99 overall. I don't know how we're killing them, but we are. Yeah, go, Carson. Touch him. Bro, how was that not a touch to Carson? All you do is reach the ball like an inch, dude. I think this game's pretty clearly over. I mean, it would've been nice if gotten a touch right there, but kick this field goal, make it 19 and out, then there's just no chance they can come back. I don't know what happened in this game. I just 
this is going to leave civilizations confused for centuries to come, because I have no clue, man. Let's just go on to the next round. I'm still confused as to what just happened, but we're playing Oregon in the next round. We'll see if we can replicate it somehow. And just like last game, dude, we're off to a blazing start. Already up seven points. Let's see if the defense can play like they did last game, though. Let's try to get a stop right here. Okay, hand off. No, it's a fake. It's a fake tackle. Or, dude, what the heck was that? He, like, ducked under the tackler. That was weird. I don't know what just happened, but they got a touchdown. Very intense situation late in the game. Tied at 14. They have a chance to take the lead for the first time this game. We cannot let that happen. Pick. Pick. Apila! Let's go, Six! Go! Go! The duck buck- The duck bick- The dick buck is- I don't know why I was calling him duck. His name's dick buck. So I finally got, let's go, nice pick, dude, this guy's a stud, good job, Shaquille. Dude, I just don't get it, bro, we have the ball, the red zone, up seven, we just need to milk the clock, and it should be GG's, bro. Give her a keeper, it's a keeper, keeper, go, go, okay, well, I don't really think it matters, because we can just make the field goal, yeah, it's a good point, I could just, just make the field goal, Tanner, with time winding down, I'm, I don't need to make this more dramatic than what it is, it should be an easy kick, yep, we're out of the semis, <laughs> I don't know how we're here, but we're playing Nebraska, who absolutely destroyed Texas. I don't think we should wait. We shouldn't have won either of the last two games, but the defense is just playing out of their minds, bro. So we'll see if we can keep the magic going. I think this might be where our luck runs out. We're down seven, and they're in the red zone. Maybe we could get, like, an interception right here like we did last game on the slip screen, but we'll see. Oh, he's passing. Okay, sack. Or a yeah. touchdown. Dang it, dude. We might not be out of it yet. The offense is finally moving the ball. We're down to go. Right, we have to get seven right here. This is like the first time we've been in their territory the entire game. we got to execute. Okay, I like this. X, maybe? No. Just step up and run. Go! Fast! Let's go! Good job, Carson! Not great, dude. We're down four. If they score... Another touch right here. I think we're definitely screwed because our offense is just not built to come back from behind. So defense, I need you right here, dude. It's a run. Yeah, Chris, we'll tackle him. Tackle. Let's go. Okay, we're having a chance with the ball. Let's go. Okay, Carson in the offense. It's all up to you guys. We're going to have to do it. We're not specialized in it, which is passing. But we got this. R1. That's a lot of yards. I got to throw it. I have to. No way he picks it. Touch on. Duggan. Ah. Okay, we're in field range. I'll take it. Just running right at him, boys. Right at him. Power. Strength. Determination. Let's go. You know what? Screw it. We're going to go for two. And we're going to run the ball right at him. How far away are we? Like two and a half yards? Three yards? Yeah, we can get this. We got this. A little sweep action. This guy's last name is Lafayette. I got a good feeling about this. Get to the outside. Get to the outside. Lafayette. Let's go. <laughs> okay, defense clutch up. Are they even trying to win? The CPU is so bad at clock management. I think I already won the game, bro. They're literally milking the clock as if they're not down a point. Like, they realize <laughs> the CPU is so stupid, dude. They're milking the clock. Oh my gosh, dude. Looks like we're going to go to the natty unless they can score on this final play. And yeah, they throw the ball away. <laughs> <laughs> just like shit, I don't know who to do. All right, I guess we're the natty. Here we are, man. The magic hasn't run out yet. I just don't, I don't know how we're here to be honest with you. We'll see if maybe we can pull off another upset. Who knows, dude? I have no idea what to expect with this team at this point. Already down seven, but at least we're at the goal line. So we do have a chance to respond inside the game. We'll see if we can do that. Hand off, a little fullback dive. Oh, cut it inside. Oh, that was so sexy. I deserve a touchdown for that. Thank you, Mikkel. We just will not go away, dude. We're down six, but we're right back in the red zone. Let's get seven right here, get a lead. That's a give. Yep, easy touchdown, dude. I'm starting to become like a wizard with this like give, pitch, keeper stuff, dude. Down 13 now. Ooh, this is not a good spot. Okay, well, the good news is we still have a chance. We just need to convert this fourth and seven. Come on. R1. Get out of there. You got 96 speed. Use your speed. Yes, smart. Smart. Uh, square. Square. I got No, why did you? Okay. That's not. I wanted to try and stop and then throw. That's so oh, Carson, buddy. I think it's pretty clear what's happening here, man. If they get a first down, we're gonna have to use all of our timeouts. It's just, there'd be no chance. So either we get to stop right here or we are officially screwed. Hey, okay, passing. Buddy, play defense. No! That's bad. Yeah, man, we're gonna have around like 40 seconds down 16 to try and come back. It's just not possible, dude. I mean, I'm just glad that we got this far. It shows that we definitely have the potential for it because this team's pretty young, so that's the bright side. Offseason time of Carson's got. I'm kind of surprised by that. I don't really know how his game's gonna translate to the next level. Maybe he's a better passer than we ever found out. No clue. And then Keaton Massey, he got injured, but he's also gonna get drafted. The rest of these guys, so there's really not that many guys graduating, although these were some of our best players, so it does suck to say goodbye. So I will miss all of you, but best of luck the rest of your life. You guys are all very talented the human beings you'll do great things you guys already know what it is on Saturday day the 69 method Jack Wilson stud Tim Hudson stud like these guys would be two of our best commits four star and a three star I really want both dudes so I really want to make it happen Jack and Tim don't let the 69 strategy down please no 
Oh, we got Jack Patim. Oh my gosh. I did not realize West Virginia was going to put their entire arsenal into him, bro. Well, the 69 method was ineffective for the first time ever. So the hit rate moves from 100% to 99.9, .9, making this the recruiting class for this year. And it's definitely the best of the video so far, if you're going by quality, because I think the lowest overall is only what 69 tight end. And we have some 78s and some 80s. So yeah, I cannot complain, dude. Like we are recruiting beautifully right now, Coach Maverick. We have two big boys up the middle too, Kurt Latrell. Tris and Jack Wilson, both big, strong, manly men. Stevie Barnes, two really good running backs. Tommy Creer. I mean, I have no complaints, dude. Like, I love this class, but I'm so happy. Has to be the highest rate class of video. Not even close, right? Yep. 23, maybe next year. Eh, I don't know. Maybe next year. I don't know. Probably have to wait till we get to like a full maxed out team prestige, but we could get the top 10 for recruiting at one point of the video. But like I said, we're gonna have to get maxed out with team prestige. That would help us out a lot. A new season is ahead, Coach Maverick, and it's probably the best team depth wise. I think we've had so far this video no we don't have Carson anymore but then again he kind of was crap I don't know how he was so bad I still haven't quite figured that one out but regardless maybe we'll improve at quarterback I don't really know but the defense should definitely be a lot better because the defense has been lacking the last few years so really happy about that our new quarterback is gonna be Gary Golden he's not as fast still 81 speed though he's not bad how much has he played probably not much yeah he has barely attempted any passes or ran the ball at all it looks like so I'm not expecting him to be like an all-american or anything but Gary you're the quarterback of the triple option all you need to do is just make the right read because we have a insanely talented running back room. Myra Gonzalez is back. So is Dwayne Forrester. We got some young guys down here. Like the running backs will never be an issue to recruit in this video, bro. Like we're having no issues with that at all. How do all the smart people think we're going to do this year? We should be in the top 25. I don't know how we wouldn't be. Where are we at? Oh, 16. I'll take it. We should be ahead of Oklahoma because we beat them last year, even though they are higher overall. So I don't know. Maybe you could argue either way. But regardless, 16, I'll take it, dude. 93 over. Overall, the defense is actually better than the offense this year. That is an interesting change. It's actually probably preferred because we need to have a good defense with the way that we play because we're going to be in a lot of low-scoring, close-ish games. At least it's how it was last year, so we'll see how we do. And we are off to another awesome start in the top 10. I really don't care what seed we get as long as you can make the playoff because as you guys saw last year, the 10th seed we made all the way to the freaking national title game. The offense, it's, it's exactly what we expect. The defense, it's going to be better than the offense because we just don't have that many possessions. That's just the army play. Black Knight's way, man. Who did we lose to, though? Man, we really haven't beaten anybody good. Holy cow. Our schedule's kind of poopy. Oh, we lost to Kansas State on the road, too. Look at Air Force and Navy, though, dude. That gives me a lot of optimism for both those teams. They're both in the top 10 right now. Recruiting-wise, though, this class is gonna be insane. <laughs> it's just so much fun to recruit right now. Coach Maverick has that, like, insta-commit thing. So I got a few of these guys to insta-commit already, so really happy about that. And the rest of this class is gonna be really strong, too. Like, there's still plenty of guys we can get. I really want to get this quarterback, Joe Lockett. It looks like we probably will because nobody else is really paying attention to him, but he has 82 speed, 85 throw power, 75 overall, plus 13 gem. Like, I really want this kid as well as Jeff Freeman, but we have a thousand point lead there, so hopefully we can uh, seal the deal. But yeah, I think this recruiting class is going to be the best one so far in this video, which is awesome. All you lads saw it, though. We played Air Force on the road. They're only like an 84 overall, so I feel like they're a little bit of uh, overrated, I must say, even though they are a fellow service academy, and I will be taking them over this video. Either way, this should be a dub. I mean, I'll be honest. Like, we should be able to win this game. Already up seven. If we could just score a touch right here, we'll be in a basically a speed run to a blowout. So we'll see if we can pull it off. I don't really know what this route combination is. Is it going to work? Oh, gosh. Get out of there. X. Cross the body. No, it's not going to be a touchdown as it did, frick. Fortunately, no touchdown, so I'll just sell for a stupid field goal, but the bright side is we'll still be up two possessions, though, so I can't really complain that much. Our kicker sucks, dude. Holy cow. Well, that's rather unfortunate. They scored a touchdown, but we have, like, double their yards right now. Like, we're dominating in every way except for the scoreboard, so we gotta get started here, man. At least a 10-point lead before the half. R1? Oh, that's an easy touchdown, too. I mean, we're not even a passing team, but I could make that read. Let's go, boys. Up 10 at the half. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't know exactly how this has happened. We're down four, and if they get a first down, we might be screwed, dude. They are out arming army. This is not good. Come on. We know how to run stop the triple option. Pitch the outside, dude. Everybody's getting pancaked. What in the that's really bad. If they get another first down, I think we're screwed. Oh, I don't know why they passed. Oh, it's incomplete. Okay, that means we have a chance. Let's go. All I can say is their coach is an absolute idiot, dude. We actually have a chance. Oh, we missed the kick. <laughs> Let's go. R1, that's a lot of yards. That is a great start. Potentially, oh my goodness. Okay, we're already almost at midfield. X. Nice throw, Gary. All right, we're already in field goal range now. Let's go, boys. Gary is a stud. Nobody's open, Gary. Square. Gary, big throw. Gary. Go to him. Let's go. <laughs> okay, boys. 
course we got a chance. All right, defense, clutch up. Their kicker sucks. We know that. So just keep everything in front. Okay, he's, he's running. Tackle it open field. Godfrey. There we go. Follow. Pick it up. Let's go. LeBlanc. <laughs> Let's go, boys. We're actually going to win. Yes. There it is, dude. I cannot believe we actually won this game, bro. I am so proud. Good job, boys. Way not to quit. I love that. Dang it, dude. We lost again. Uh, I really hope it's not Navy, man. That would break my heart. Come on. Please don't be Navy. We beat BYU, the Mormons, Vanderbilt. It was Navy. Lost to him by three at home. Oh, my goodness. What's crazy is all three military schools are going to be in the playoff for this season, which is absolutely absurd. But I love it at the same time since, you know, obviously I'm rebuilding all three of them in this video but i want to look at the stats real quick before we move on to the playoff gary was by far our best passer of the video it's not even close 22 touchdowns only two interceptions bro it's shocking how much better he was than carson and i still don't know how because he was a way low overall but that's just how this game works and myron gonzalez was also really good six yards per carry six and a half or 6.7 for Dwayne forrester and then 4.9 for gary gold so he even ran better than carson too i still don't understand it i feel like carson was a missed opportunity i don't know why he wasn't good sim but gary got 13 rushing touchdowns too there's no chance any of these guys won the heisman i doubt it receiving we got a lot more receptions this year and a lot more receiving yards so i'm sure the receivers are very happy about that but look at these averages bro like 13 20 yards per reception like that's absurd as for defense the strength of the team shaquille happily was a stud once again last year he had like 110 tackles did not have that many this year but 22 tfls for david nowajeki he's only 5 11 but he makes it happen on the field four and a half sacks he led us there as well we did not get any awards it looks like dude uh well on to the playoff we'll see if we win a natty this year coach maverick and here we are in the playoff we got to play washington the first round if we win this we gotta play texas oh man i don't like this avenue for us but i mean we did beat who we beat like the 10 that was the seven and then we beat the two last year so we could do something similar again kind of hesitant about this toss at the goal line i really want to start with a seven point lead so okay will this toss work cut it back fight Yes, it will work. Good job, Myron. We scored again, dude. We're already at 14 points. Okay, but they aren't the goal line, though. I really don't want them to get seven before the half. So, defense, please clamp down right here. Let's see some resistance, boys. Interception. Come on, Graham. I know you want to. Throw a pick. Throw a pick. Uh. Ow. That's bad. I'm loving how this is going, man. We're up 11 points in the fourth quarter. I think if we just score a touchdown right here with the way that we play, I don't think there's any chance they can come back. So, let's just get seven. I like this. I like this combination, R1. No. Oh, R1 late. Please, let's go. Nice catch. That's a former tight end. We moved him to fullback. He's been a stud muffin. Good job, Ben Fox. That should be GG's. Everyone knows who we have to take out of undefeated Texas. I am not very confident, but who knows? Like last year, we just beat teams we shouldn't have beat, so we'll see if we can keep that going. We already know it's going to be a low-score game. We're down three, but we are the red zone, though, for the first time this game. We got to make sure we get seven down here, dude. One of these routes have to get open for us, or we are screwed. Square? Why is that so open? What kind of defense was that? Yucka ducka do. I'll take it, dude. Up four. It's a dog fight, man. We're tied at 14 in the third quarter. We are in the red zone, though. We gotta make sure we get seven right here. I don't know how I feel about this play. Kind of a fake motion back here and two slants. I feel like this cheat code might work. Yeah, square. Open. Oh, Gary. Oh, buddy. No. Oh, no. That was a touchdown, Gary. That was a touchdown, dude. You better help that does not screw us because it definitely could man at least you got three points but definitely should have been a touchdown we get the lead oh my goodness dude okay we need to make sure that we clutch up right here we can now let them get a touchdown it's third and two come on boys come on defense i think they're gonna pass no it's a run get out there brown nice hit let's go okay they're gonna settle for three and we have a chance to win this game boys just need field goal range gary don't overcomplicate it, man. Triangle. That's a great start. Let's go. Fox. Okay, we're already almost at midfield. R1. That's got to be it. Let's go. Yes, that's got to be Phil Gerage. Let's go. Nice catch, Frank. It's going to be ice. It's okay, though. It's right up the middle. This should be a pretty easy kick to make. The only thing I'm worried about is the power because I know our kicker's not great. That's got to go through, right? Yes, it is, too. Let's go. Upset, boys. Out of the semis. Of course. We got to play Navy, bro. Hey, we get a chance for a wrench, but I don't know what it is. These service academies, dude. Three out of the four teams in the playoff or that are left in the playoff are service academies, dude. This is part of the reason why I wanted to do this video. I wanted to find out for myself why they're always so good at sim but dude it's awesome so far man i'm freaking loving it we're playing navy though we gotta win i really want to get a touch right here bro i don't know if this toss is gonna work but i'm gonna give it a try please work please work cut it back 
No, dang it. Okay, we just sell for a stupid field goal. Not happy about the situation, but at least we start with a lead. Like, that's good. Dude, where was this the last week of the season, dude? We are dominating. We're up 10 points. I mean, let's just score another touchdown. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. They can't seem to stop it. The army shaft is inevitable at this point. Circle, that's touchdown, dude. What is going on? Where was this in the regular season, boys? I'm 17. Okay, they did not just bend over and let us win. So we're only at nine points, but I think we scored touch right here. It's definitely GG's though, because it will be up, what, 16? Yeah, there's no way they can come back from that with the way our offense is play. Circle, over the middle. <laughs> Touchdown, Duggan, let's go! Good job, Darius. Okay, if we if they somehow end up coming back, I'll show you guys, but I sincerely doubt it's gonna happen with the way that both our offenses play. And yep, they did not come back at all. We ended up winning by 20, and who are we playing to there for? We gotta play another fellow service academy. We beat them in the regular season, right? Oh, that's right. We came back at the end. We got very lucky to win that game. So we'll see if we can win again. Oh my gosh, dude. We're off to an awful start. We're down seven. This is not a great situation. The good news is, like, they are probably gonna have to sell for a field goal unless we choke right here. So defense, please do not choke. Interception, maybe. That'd be nice. Tackle? Please. Okay, there we go. Okay, they're gonna have to sell for a field goal for sure then. I will take that as a W, but the offense has got to wake up if we have any chance this game, dude. Yes! Okay, we're figuring some things out. We're only down three points now, and we have the ball inside their territory. This has got to be seven right here, guys. We got to make sure we get a touchdown. Pitcher or is it a keeper? It's a keeper. Go, Gary, go! Go, Gary, go! Go, Gary, go! <laughs> Let's go, Gary Gold. Let's go. Got the lead. The defense got a fumble so we can extend it to freaking 11. Let's go, dude. Come back, kids, baby. That's what we did the first time against them. We're doing the exact same thing this time. Let's get seven. Circle. Circle. Laser. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Gary to Christopher. Up 14. I think the writing's on the wall. I don't know what happened in the first quarter, but it was a complete 180 ever since, dude. Let's just score again. Make it 21. It should be GG's. Run it right at him, boys. We're bigger, stronger, faster, tougher. Get to the outside. Chapeator. I've never heard of that guy before. Good job, Kendrell. That's the first time I've seen him score a touchdown. Good job to you, dude. And that touchdown sealed the dub for Coach Maverick and the Army Gold Knights. I think that's where they are, the Gold Knights. Yeah, it sounds right. So, dude, I don't know how many years it took us, Coach Maverick, but you did a great job, man. This is absolutely a blast. I cannot wait for the next two teams. Only took us like, one, two, three, six seasons. That's it, bro. Army's a glitch, man. I hope it's this easy with Air Force and Navy, but I mean, we went from three and nine, nine and four. Like, as soon as that first season ended, the Army glitch began with the triple option, bro. But yeah, it finally capped off with a national title in year six, and now Coach Maverick is on to Air Force, where we will also be starting in the offseason for this one. How many guys are we losing with Air Force? Army, we lost like 34 year one. Oh, gosh, we're losing a lot of guys here too dude what's going on with these rosters they just get absolutely gutted as soon as coach maverick takes over but hopefully it's as easy to recruit as it was for army and i think it should be somewhat close so yeah i got confidence coach maverick can turn this bad boy around trash for time and just one guy matthew green from colorado honestly he's not like spectacular but i'm sure he's good enough for our team at the moment so i'll take him Saturday day and this is the class that the prior regime is leaving coach maverick and my goodness dude it is not that great yeah oh dear Ugh, there's only 14 guys to all the guys we have graduated it's gonna be like the army thing where like year one we are probably gonna really suck dude like i do not expect much out of this man i mean there's some okay players like tyler mason brandon blanks frank nash like some of these guys are okay but like typically you don't want 65s and 66s to be the best players of your class you're better off when they're like at the bottom and somehow it's the 51st oh because there's three four stars walking on i gotta cut those guys but i think it's pretty obvious coach maverick is gonna have his work cut out for him that's for sure this is a squad for year one and my gosh dude the prior coach left the cupboard bare man or like the closet where you put your food at it's bare bro there is not much here man this is a lot like the army at the beginning dude like oh my gosh dude we're gonna have to have probably the first two years at least 20 guys in each recruiting class it's literally just like the army one there is not much depth on the roster at all man which makes it more fun so i'm kind of excited for this but yeah the first two recruiting classes we've got to try and at least get 20 guys in each one quarterback wise though honestly ben Britton. oh uh, you know you know what i'm gonna start kemper i'm gonna start him for the future this guy looks really solid 72 overall 77 speed yeah i'm gonna start him over ben i'm sorry mr Britton. we've also got another pretty solid player for the future in the backfield luke gal or gal he's got 81 speed so i mean there's some things we can build on but clearly we are gonna need to recruit our balls off that is obvious we started two and two so i mean it's not horrible i can't really complain i mean we're just a 74 overall so it's like we're anything spectacular per se beat citadel lost to northern iowa Ugh, we beat Nevada, so yeah, we really haven't done anything impressive, but we're in the Mountain West.
guys. So it's not like we're playing murderer's row every week, but yeah, losing to an FCS school, not a great luck. This week though, we got to play Navy at home coach Maverick. Really hope this could be a W for us. That would be great. And for this game against our rival Navy, we have basically our entire recruiting board visiting. So I cannot emphasize how important this game is that we actually win it. So please just go out there guys. I mean, we're better than Navy, so we should win on paper. So just please do what we're supposed to. Up three, it's a low score game. No, it's surprise. I don't really like how they're in the red zone right here though. Let's just try and make sure it's only a field goal. No way they run it, right? They gotta be passing. They have to be, right? Yeah, okay, figured. Come on, nothing. Open. Malloy. Yes, let's go. Good defense. Hold to a field goal. That's W. Them shanking this would not only be funny, it would also be helpful to the cause. Oh, we have a mascot back there. It's like a bird or something. Oh, it didn't do anything, though, unfortunately. Here we go. Okay, we actually have the lead late. This game's been so uneventful. This is what the triple option games are like, I guess. Circle. Touchdown. Yes, we're passing. The forward pass was invented. We're finally figuring that out. Good job, boys. All righty, lads. This should be GG's right here if we can just get a stop. So don't do anything dumb. I don't think we should play man coverage because I'm sure their quarterback is very familiar with that coverage. I should try and confuse him, but it's too late for the guy should have run zone. I don't know why. God dang it, Tanner. Thanks for my idiotic defensive play call. We need a first down right here, but I feel confident. We got this. I don't really know what's going on right here. Hopefully it works. Does it work? Fight! Yes, it does work. Let's go. That should be GG's. And yeah, it definitely is. And I just realized Air Force, isn't that alphabetically before Army? I started with Army because I thought they were first in the alphabet. No, they definitely are not because AI, AR, I'm an idiot. I just realized that. Oh my gosh. It's all right though. We're still gonna get air force and natty and hopefully we got some commitments after this w that'd be nice and we definitely did let's go donovan brimhall we did not pick up paris though which kind of sucks i love that name chase jamirin mo rosser eric Kalklock, skish kasan i don't know what that was but yeah uh there's one two three four five six guys to commit i'll take that i think that's half the guys that visited man we fell off a cliff didn't we six and six i mean i can't really complain four and four in the mount west in our first season we're just a 74 overall honestly i thought we'd be a lot worse so i'm somewhat happy beat utah state and San Diego State, but oh, as you guys can see, we lost, what, four out of our last five games? Ooh, man, that's that's a tough finish to the season, that's for sure. Honestly, with us finishing six and six, I doubt that we end up actually making a bowl game. Oh, dude, did I forget to start Kemper? Dude, I'm, that's my fault, bro. He had five touchdowns, nine interceptions. Oh, bad Britain, bro. Red shirt senior, he's awful. Oh my gosh, dude, I should have started Kemper like I wanted to, dude. That's my fault, man. I could not blame anybody but myself, but dude, the rest of these quarterbacks were so bad. Rushing-wise, though, man, 4.4 yards per carry. Oh, man, this team, this guy, yeah, we have two guys with the exact same faces. They're both seniors. There's a lot of old guys on this team, but they all suck. Receiving, just a bunch of old guys that didn't really do much. I mean, how old is this team? Are we gonna lose, like, 50 guys to graduation again? It feels like it, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. Most TFLs was a junior, though, which is nice. You got the most sacks, too, it looks like. So, at least you got that going for us. On the trail, though, Lavarius Harris locked us out. Not very nice to be a Lavarius. I guess it is what it is. He's probably gonna go to New Mexico, but he'll recognize his mistake, like, five years down the line. We do have some new commits, though. Like, we got a really good receiver class, which is pretty annoying, because we don't really use receivers, but that's what the game told me to recruit, so I recruited a lot of them, and I probably went a little overkill, because I signed five. And we definitely do not need five receivers, but at least we have a really good second option to the run game for the future but yeah recruiting class is looking pretty solid i don't think it's gonna be as big as i had hoped i'm not gonna lie this uh, recruiting thing is not as easy as it was with army but i still think it's going really well in my opinion like we have some really good players up here still left like jacob bragg alec mitchell joe simmons and matt russell do i think i'm gonna get all four probably not i hope to the heavens i do though because all four of these guys are gonna be studs yeah no bowl game for us but i don't think it really matters probably would have gotten popped by somebody anyway Payton a droid i think it's how you pronounce his last name he is off to the nfl he's the only one the rest of these guys we have a lot of guys leaving again dude this roster is just getting gutted the last two seasons i really hope we can get some transfers because last year we had like one guy come in and that was not ideal we need more than that we need like a few oh my gosh dude i don't want 60 overall melvin laster like oh my, i mean at least you got a 68 jage jinter i guess it's okay i was hoping for like three or four and we got two and one of them is very crappy this is one of those sunny days where you just wish you had more points i don't know what to do i'm just gonna do the smart thing we're gonna go after matt the best two guys on our board and we're gonna put five thousand to each of them i think that's the smartest approach i wish i could put some points into alec or jacob like i really want jacob especially because we have such a big lead but it just there's no 
there's no guarantee, man. The only thing I could come close to a guarantee with is putting 5,000 into two recruits. And why not put 5,000 into two recruits that are the best two on the board, if that makes sense. Especially when we're leading for both. I just feel like it makes the most sense, Coach Maverick. So let's hope for the best. Let's go. We got Matt and Joe and Nugget Alec. I figured, oh, he's going to the Mormons. We got Jacob, though. Jakob Bragg. And we got a, a left to end down here. Ken Empey. Let's, oh, dude. Yes, I will take it. Making this the class for year one. Dude, I am shocked. This year one class has got a lot of talent, bro. Like, there's not as much depth as I would have liked. Like, we still need some really key positions, as you guys will see. The team needs cornerback, kicker, punter, free safety, outside linebacker, offensive tackle. We still have plenty of needs, but we have got a lot of talented guys coming into the program, and that is not something we could say beforehand. Matt Russell's a stud. Joe Simmons, six four strong safety. Yes, Donovan Brim Hall, Darian Fullwood. I mean, dude, we got some guys with afros. We got some bald guys. I mean, we got everything you could imagine, dude. All these guys are so good man. I'm so happy. I'm sure the rankings are not too bullish on us, but this is way better than the class that the coach last year signed. Even if you include the four stars we had to cut, which, yeah, it's just, it's so much better, dude. 95th, who cares about the ranking? Oh, we actually gained a prestige star. Oh, wait, did they start with three? I don't know. It's a good question. I think we started with one. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Year dose and the team still sucks. It's not gonna happen overnight. The craziest, dude, Matt is our third best player. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> That's, like, not really shocking for, like, a creative team where, you like, you start from scratch. You're like, Air Force? The team is actually an FBS? Like, what are we doing, dude? <laughs> I'm just, you know what? That proves that our first year recruiting class was that solid, so I cannot complain, but yeah. I don't even know if the team's better than the team last year. I'm not expecting much. If we make a bowl game, I will be shocked. Quarterback, though, Kemper. I should have started you last year. My fault. This year, though, you will get your one shining moment. Actually, is what, three shining moments? Because he's going to start for this year, next year, and the year after that. But yeah, same to say, I definitely have high expectations for this kid but we need to get another quarterback behind him because i don't know if brayden graham or tommy davis is the guy also curious to see how joe simmons does in his four years here i can't redshirt either of those two because they're just so much better than our backups so there's really no justification for it. he's only got 79 speed but he's six foot four and he hits hard that's all you really need to do at strong safety because you're not free safety free safety is in like the back like they're like last defense i think strong safety they're more in the box so joe is gonna be very good at hitting people that are trying to run past him I knew it, man. It's rough out here. We're three and four. I mean, the bright side is we're not like getting blown out. You know, like we've won two games in the Mount West, so I can't be like that upset. Like we're okay. Beat Northern Iowa, lost to Fresno State, Boise State, beat Colorado State. So I mean, all of our losses are teams that are above 500. So I consider that a success. So we also beat New Mexico. So and Colorado State, they're both above 500. So I mean, it's not that bad. And recruiting so far has been pretty great. Like this Delvin guy looks like a beast at middle linebacker, bro. Super excited for him. We needed linebackers, and we already got got a few of those got a tight end too so i'm pretty happy with it the rest of our board i feel somewhat decent i don't know though dude there's a lot of guys that it's pretty early on for so i don't quite know what to expect but hopefully we can have at least a 10-man class because it doesn't look like it's gonna be that big once again unfortunately this week though coach maverick you are playing your former team even though we restarted with a new dynasty to make it more fair and realistic because me taking over air force after they just finished this national title runner-ups just doesn't feel right but yeah army is clearly a lot like us so we are basically going to be playing our doppelganger i mean our offense are already runs the triple option it's gonna suck even more when we can't even run it effectively we're down 10 to nothing it's just not going well dude we'll see if maybe we can score for once x Oh, gosh, I'm scared. Kemper, get out of there. You're fast for a reason. Oh, dear God, the defensive end. That's so bad, bro. We cannot score, dude. Maybe we'll get lucky, get like a kickoff return for a touchdown. I just don't know how we're going to score seven points this game, man. I just don't know how it's going to happen. They're back in the red zone. This is just going so bad, dude. I mean, we're trying. We're just not succeeding. Throw a pick. Okay, tackle, please. Are you serious? Really? That's how we're going to go down. <laughs> Gosh, we suck, dude. They're back in our territory. We cannot get the ball past their 50, and they are just having so much success against us, dude. It's just not meant to be today, bro. Maybe we can get, like, a pick or something. Okay, tackle, please. Tackle, please. Or just... <laughs> I'm crying. Oh my gosh, we're so bad, dude. Jeez, oh, peace. Do not ask me how, but that performance somehow convinced two guys to commit. I didn't even realize there were that many guys visiting. <laughs> Probably not a smart idea to put them on that week, I guess. But we picked up Jeffrey Harry and Holt Brown Frazier. I mean, they're not studs by any means, but they're okay players. I mean, the Brights it is we only lost, what, one more game than last year? And we finished 500 in the Mountain West. So, I mean, I consider that somewhat a success. Lost Southern Miss by 28. We beat Hawaii in overtime and San Jose State, but we finish the season losing to Wyoming by 12 at home. I got a really bad feeling about my guy Kemper. Five touchdowns, that's not a good sign. Oh, Kemper. Oh, buddy. 
Oh my gosh. I didn't show it, but he had a throw that would have been a touchdown and it was launched to like outer space. It was really inaccurate. He only threw for 884 yards. Kemper, I had such high expectations and you are so bad, man. Rushing the ball, still, it's just not. I mean, Luke Gal would be nice to have in the next three years or two years, I should say, since this year just finished. But yeah, I mean, at least Kemper ran the ball pretty well. Five yards per carry. Like, that's not bad. But yeah, the offense, it needs a lot of help. Receiving wise, it's just all true freshmen they did okay i mean not really anything spectacular but they're only gonna get better which is the bright side and then on defense matt russell dude this kid's gonna be such a stuff for the next four years bro 88 tackles he had the most tfls it looks like he's our best player already dude on defense he didn't have the most sacks though that was Aiden schwartz recruiting wise we picked up some new commits i don't really know like which one it was specifically but we definitely have some new guys in the hall this class is shaping up to be around eh, I don't know like maybe 12 or 14 somewhere in there i mean most of these guys that we have left on our board we could be able to get on signing day but you know signing day sometimes likes to shaft me so we'll see how that goes on to the offseason players leaving you know i want to say i'll miss these guys but you know coach maverick definitely will hopefully i mean he definitely is going to have better football players in the future i feel bad for you guys but you guys have got your life figured out you're gonna be serving air force i think that's in the air that feels like it might be too obvious not to be true i don't know i'm gonna confuse myself i'm probably wrong just know these guys have all got their crap figured out they're gonna be okay i don't really know how to feel about Saturday this year like i really want cj six thousand points there like he's a stud the rest of these guys are putting a thousand points into i just don't think i'm gonna get all of them bro because i know i'm gonna get shafted i should probably go after this fullback oh i just realized that good news is i've recruited some tight ends so i'll probably move a tight end to a fullback but fullback is very important in the offense and we did not sign one so I don't know. We'll see what happens, dude. We should get all the guys who put points into, but I'm sure I won't get lucky. How did it go? Good news. Come on, Coach Maverick. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. Yes. Woo. No. Okay. Never mind. We did not get cave on. This is what I'm talking about, dude. I knew we were going to get shafted somehow. But at least it looks like we have the rest of the guys we went after. But we really couldn't get him, dude. He was the second highest overall guy. Ugh, that's super unfortunate. But it makes this the class for year two. And there are so many linebackers. Holy squirrels, dude. Why do we have so many linebackers, dude? We recruited a crap ton of defense. How many linebackers do we have? Oh, three. So we have seven. Oh my God. Thank goodness we really needed them. And if I have an overflow of them or like too many, I'll just move some of them to the defensive end or something like that. But yeah, man, definitely went a little overkill with the linebackers. That's for sure. But I mean, some of them are really good. Like Delvin Brent, CJ Long, Dante Rutledge, Andrew Harris at corner. Like we recruited defense really well this cycle. So next year we need to load up an offense because I think we need offensive line really bad. And we only got Jeffrey. Can't imagine this ranked very high. Wasn't last year like 95? This year's at 97. Yeah, around that same territory. I feel like the last year's class is a little bit better but you know if we could have gotten what was his name cave i think it was i think it would have probably made it pretty even how are we looking for the new year still i there's definitely some things missing man i don't see this team making a bowl game we i don't know man i don't know i feel like if we could have had more recruits in the first two classes maybe we'd have a chance to share but we just have not signed enough guys like the roster was so bad to begin with like most of our best players are freshmen and sophomores and that is not a good sign for the, the roster that we took over like the roster we took over was crap kemper though you were so bad last year bro i'm gonna keep it 1000 percent honest with you i still have not recruited a quarterback yet like we need to recruit offense so bad this year so yeah we gotta focus on that but kemper please just be better dude this is what i'm talking about though we're a service academy and our offensive line has like negative depth it's so bad like we need to recruit offensive line quarterback and what else some defensive line still because most of those linebackers i actually kept at linebacker because we actually needed them that badly and we still need some help at free safety so yeah there are still multiple holes on this roster even though we're three years in that is a red light maybe it helps that our schedule's an f but i honestly don't see us doing well at all even with this crappy schedule i just i don't know man i mean maybe we can pull off like five or six wins i don't know last year we won five right one of them was an fcs school so it's really four at least by the bowl game standard so maybe we can win five games against fbs schools i don't know man i don't know what's realistic i'm just not expecting much what how are we five and one okay then i don't know how i really thought we'd suck again but apparently we're doing pretty good who was the loss is the real question beat georgia state lost to Louisiana. in 
in a row. We've won two overtime games, though. So I think that solves that mystery. We got very fortunate because we could be, what, 3-3 three and three right now, but we're 5-1 and one instead. So hopefully we just keep our overtime magic alive with, like, this close game magic we have right now. Recruiting-wise, I'd say it's going pretty well. We picked up this insanely good defensive tackle, Ben Morris, big boy up the middle. We got a quarterback, actually two of them, Vince Vermont, Vermont probably, and then Addison Barnhill. Just like with Army, they're both fast quarterbacks. I feel like that makes the most sense. Like, you want your quarterback to be a running threat, even though our quarterback right now is a running threat, and he cannot throw the ball to the correct team. So I don't really know what the correct approach is for this, but all in all, I feel like we're doing a pretty decent job recruiting so far. And this week, we got to play Boise State, who's undefeated. They are, like, way better than us. So I guess this is, like, the litmus test of are we officially to the point of where we upset teams we should not beat. It only took us till year two to do that with Army. We are in year three with Air Force, so maybe this is the year. We shall see if the Service Academy effect has finally begun. What are they doing? They're passing. I got clicked onto the wrong guy. Do pick. Oh my gosh, that's not good. I'm telling you, bro, it's the Service Academy effect. We have a chance to tie the game right here. We gotta take it, man. Make the right read right here, Tanner. Okay, it's a keeper. Harges. Kemper. Pitch. Touchdown. Let's go. They fell for it, baby. Please tell me it's touchdown. Let's go. Good job, Luke Gow. Maybe I was wrong about the Service Academy effect, at least for this game. We're down 13. It's not looking good, dude. If they score it here, I think it's definitely over because our offense just, it cannot move the ball. Should I run commit? I think that's the question now. Okay, I should have. I'm going to click on him. I, I tried to bait him. That was so stupid, dude. I tried to do something cool. It did not obviously happen, dude. Frick. Dude, we didn't lose for the rest of the season. <laughs> These military academies, dude, they have to be a cheat code. I'm convinced, man. This team's just a 79 overall. Like, I get it. We're in the Mountain West, but, like, some of these teams we beat, we're just not better than, so I don't know, bro. It's just, like I said, it's the military service academy effect, bro. It makes the team, like, 10 overall higher than what it actually is. I mean, look at these, what, last five games? One by 25, 28, 10, one by three against Wyoming, then one by seven against Hawaii. Like, I don't know, dude. We definitely should have lost at least one of these games, but we did not. Please tell me you were better this year, Camper. Oh, he got hurt. Oh, he was way way better that's the improvement i wanted to see camper it sucks so he's gonna be hurt for a bowl game at least i think so yeah he was way better this year rushing the ball it's still i feel like there's still something missing here i feel like we should be averaging around six yards per carry but then again you know camper is also our second leading rusher again dude this is the exact type of performance i want out of our quarterbacks though like be efficient with the football don't turn it over and run the crap out of the ball we also said luke gall up here guys a stud receiving honestly as you guys saw like we threw the ball a little bit like some of these guys got Got some touches it's crazy that our third leading receiver and reception second in yards is our running back that's just the uh, triple option offense right there for you then oh it was matt russell again this guy's a stud bro he's just too good denied as many tfls as last year i was matthew greeny and he had the most sacks or at least tied for it. like five guys with three and a half sacks but yeah dude matt russell has been such a stud and he's still hopefully got two more years with us i'm not gonna lie though on the recruiting trail it's been pretty underwhelming this jameel guy sped he locked us out he was like the highest overall guy we had left so very very sad about that but for the new commits we picked up there's nothing like crazy i just settled for some pretty crappy offensive linemen like 64 and 62 it's just like eh, we needed better there man like we addressed our team needs like we needed offensive lineman punter and quarterback but we did not address them with the highest overall players now the price is next year that coach maverick can put 700 points into a recruit so that should be able to help us win some more battles but yeah i feel like this recruiting class was definitely disappointing but hey let's focus on the happy stuff we're playing really well on the field and we are in the potato bowl of idaho i think playing bowling green so i don't really know this is not that exciting of a matchup but who knows can we just run right at him it's nice to see that kemper's not hurt anymore oh yeah that's a touchdown right fight good job see that's all we do that's all we do around here is fight good job Cade. i don't know what it is dude it's like these players and the opposing team they don't want to beat a service academy i don't know it doesn't make any sense because in real life like these teams are not that great but we just cannot seem to lose i don't know what it is dude it's confusing this team's not that great but we are just balling. Is that going to be a touchdown, Kemper? Yeah, just round, bro. Easy peasy. Kemper Hodges. Okay, then maybe I spoke too soon. They have a chance to tie the game. All they need is a touchdown and a two-point conversion. Defense, just don't let that happen. Feels pretty simple, but I'm sure it's difficult. We can do it. Interception. No, I was right there. Please don't be a touchdown. I am so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay, just stop them with the two-point. You don't have to worry about that stupid play, Tanner. I have no confidence right here, bro. I think they're going to pass, honestly, but I don't know if we're going to be able to stop it. Yep, they're passing. Come on, please. Stop. No, guys, how is there nobody there? Oh my gosh, at least we still have time. I didn't realize we had a shotgun formation in our playbook. I kind of like this. X? 
Oh, yeah. That's field goal range, basically. Let's go. Get out of there, Kemper. I don't blame you. Yep, just run. Just run. Another first down. Okay, it's definitely got to be field goal range now. Okay, there we go. Good job, Kemper. The name Kemper Hodge is just gives you, like, 1920s police detective vibes. I don't know why, but let's just kick this field goal. Put this game away. Four, three, two, one. I made sure to do that so it isn't ice. It's a little cheat code I know, by the way, because I'm a cheat code glitcher. I'm just joking, but we won the bowl game, even though it shouldn't have been as stressful as it was in the end. That's all that matters is that we won. After a surprising season, didn't we just win like 11 games? I just realized that's insane. I don't even know how. Cade Summers, though, is transferred. Honestly, not really the end of the world. He's going to Bowling Green, the team that we just beat in a bowl game. <laughs> I think some clear tampering was going on there, but you do UK, then, oh my god, we only have four guys graduating? Okay, I like how things are going now. I'm getting pretty excited for the future. That's a very, very good side. Side D this year, honestly, I'm not gonna overthink it. 5,000 for the top two guys. You know, Durant, Overson, and James Perkins, you know, be cool if we got him. Not really James, though. He's not, like, that spectacular, but really just need safety help and defensive line help, mostly, so it kind of works out perfectly. I hope we get both, but who knows? And we got both! Yori Evers and David Hinton. Welcome to the squad. We really need an offense this year in this cycle, but it looks like we're loading up on defense once again. Not gonna lie, man. I'm not really sold on, like, what we needed to do with this class. Like, we got some really solid players defensively, but offensively, recruiting just, eh, man, it was a big woof, in my opinion. It was a big swing and a big miss. I mean, we got a couple of really not that great guards, a couple of quarterbacks that are just fast. I don't know, dude. I feel like we should have gotten some better offensive linemen. I'm gonna try and go after O-line again next year because we still desperately need it even with the guys that we just added ben morris though looks like a stud like our what our top six commits are all on defense that's a red flag man there's no way that should have happened because we needed offense this year but i mean the bright side is the defense is gonna be loaded for the future like all these guys are solid players probably around the 90s just like the last two classes ah, actually up to 83 we also gained a star in team prestige that's not really shocking but yeah i think we're pretty will only get better for the rest of this video so that's very exciting well this will help joseph mitchell is gonna be probably our quarterback in the future 68 overall he's got 84 speed too okay me likey yeah i can definitely get down with this his awareness is dog crap but coach maverick will be making sure to lab that in the off season but yeah super duper good to see that that is really really encouraging now the fun part of the off season the training results are in and kemper only went up plus three maybe he improved throughout the season i really don't remember what his overall was last year i know the quarterbacks improved throughout the season and then their training results look a little crap i don't know maybe i should just give kemper the wrath of coach maverick and get mad at him but i don't know dude i feel like it looks like some plus sixes up here a little bit more plus fours i would have liked to see but you guys have seen dude this team is so young bro look at all the juniors on the first row yeah it's definitely the best team so far this video it's hard for it to be worse than the team last year when we only lost what four guys to graduation so yeah i'm expecting us i don't know though we went 11 and 2 how are we gonna be better than that it's gonna be hard we all know this will be back at quarterback though it's my man campa 80 speed he's up to 99 awareness see i tell you dude like i think awareness can be developed I haven't really paid much attention to it for quarterbacks, even though I should. Like, I'll notice it when it's really high, but, like, I need to see how much it improves in the offseason for a guy like uh, Joseph Mitchell in the future, because that'll be really interesting. The rest of the team, though, as you guys can see, like, you already saw the training results. Like, most of these guys in the first row are the guys that we had in our first recruiting class. That first recruiting class was dynamite, bro. But I'm going to show you guys the O-line once again, just to emphasize the need. It's just not, man. It's not that great. Like, there's some good old guys up here, but we need some, we need to inject some youth in this position group, especially with how important it is for, you know, Air Force, the triple option. So we got to make that happen this recruiting cycle. Let's go off to a 2 0 start. I mean, we'd have a close game against James Madison, and the defense looks like it's sucking so far this year. So it's not exactly like the most encouraging start, but I mean, we're 2 0. I can't complain. For the game this week, though, Coach Maverick, we're playing Wyoming, who's really not good. Like, they're like a 74 and they're 0 and 2. So I'm, on paper, this should be pretty easy, at least I hope. And for this game against Wyoming, we have seven guys visiting. These are like our top targets at the moment, especially when it comes to the offensive linemen that we found so far so yeah we really need to make sure we impress these guys with a dominant win hopefully that is the standard sadly it looks like we might have a battle on our hands we're tied at seven in the second quarter i mean it's still early on so we could still crush them at least that's the hope what happened to kemper dude is he hurt oh i hope not will the fullback dive work Oh, yes, it will. We don't even need Brain Graham. We got Cooper Alexander. Good job, buddy. Okay, offense, you're doing your thing. Scored again, but they have the ball back in the red zone. So the defense is kind of sucking right now. Hopefully, they're going to stop. This guy's last name is so hard to pronounce. It's like Russish or something. Okay. Mojishenko's not running it, and that's a touchdown, dude. Frick. We're practically at a stalemate, apparently. Nobody scored since. It's the fourth quarter. It's fourth and goal. We got to get a stop right here. I probably should not play man coverage, and I got 
click down the defensive lineman, please. Please, yes, pick, pick, go get six. R, drop it, that works too. Okay, one first down. Actually, probably gonna need a couple, but good job right there. Defense, what are you gonna stop? This is very weird looking. I don't know what's exactly happening. Hopefully something good. Oh, it's a rollout? What the heck? Just run, just run, Brain Graham. Let's go, SCG's, oh, almost fumbled. Thank goodness he did not. Good job, Brandon, way to clutch up, dude. Good W, boys. Success, dude, almost a full house when it comes to like commitments when we got a fullback. So basically every offensive lineman except for Ethan committed, which is really what I was worried about. This Devin guy only got plus 600 though? Ooh, okay. Finished eight and four, but we actually won our own division for the first time so far this video. So, I mean, I consider that a somewhat success, even though I figured we'd not win 11 games like we did last year. That was just too lucky. Beat Boise State, lost to Navy by two. Oh, lost to Utah State overtime. San Diego State, they're number three in the country. Lost to them, but we did beat Army though, who's actually ranked. Okay, then we lost to UNLV. Ugh. So we just lost a couple games you probably shouldn't have, but last year, as you guys remember, we won two overtime games. So like I said, dude, last year we just got extremely lucky. I feel like that's all it really was. That's why how did my guy Kepper do? I know he got hurt for most of the season and he did not play at all, really. I mean, he only threw for 500 yards, so he had five touchdowns, dude. Why did you have to get hurt, Kepper? Like, we saw how solid he was last year when he actually had the entire season under his belt, so that really sucks. But at least it's good for Bray Graham. He'll get some experience for next year. He's a big boy. Running the ball, Luke Gow is pretty good, but especially Tyler Mason, 6'4 per carry. Kemper, he ran the ball really well when he actually wasn't injured, but yeah, we definitely ran the ball a lot better this year, so it looks like the offense took a step up. Receiving, Jameerin Thomas was our leading receiver. It feels like every year it's a different leading receiver than the year before, if that makes sense. I don't know. It just feels completely random. Defensively, though, this is never random. It's Matt Russell every single season. This guy's way too good, bro. 21 TFLs, he led us in sacks. I mean, dude, this is gonna be such a sad day when this guy graduates. I'm gonna guess he'll go to the draft next year, not this year, because he's only a 90 overall, but this guy has been our best defensive player for three straight years, man. He's a stud. Finally, for recruiting, I'd say it's going fairly well. Like, we've done a really good job. We got the stud running back, Josh Whitaker. I completely forgot that since we won more than 10 games last year, we could recruit four stars, so I got a couple of those up here, but yeah, this class is looking really stinking solid. I'm really happy with it. Just like last year's class, I addressed offensive line, like, really badly. Got some defensive linemen, got some quarterbacks, got a fullback, which we pretty much needed, and got a running back and an outside linebacker, and there's still some guys left that we could potentially get, like this guy up here, Devin Estes, we should definitely be able to get, so really happy with how this recruiting class went. Like, I think it's an A-plus, in my opinion. Here it is, guys. Play San Diego State. We almost beat them in the regular season. We're higher overall. Like, on paper, we should probably win, but who knows, dude. Please throw a handoff. Full back to... Dude, seriously. Oh, my goodness. Dude, I don't know what's going on with the San Diego State team. Like, if we check their locker room, are they gonna have syringes in there? Like, I sincerely have no clue how they are so freaking good, bro. We're getting bent over right now. They're gonna score again. It's just not a good situation, man. Okay, it's a toss out there. Simmons, get out there! And there's just not a soul, man. Goodness gracious. Oh, my... Yeah, dude, we need to check their locker room. What in the... How do they have 45 points on us? Okay, we gotta try and cover this onside kick. I don't think it's gonna happen. But maybe we'll get lucky. No, did not happen. Well, frick, dude. Safe to say we ran into a buzzsaw, a team that is full of a bunch of guys that, you know, use syringes and, you know, PEDs and stuff like that. So pretty unfortunate, but maybe their coach get fired and next year we'll have a better chance because this was just not meant to be, man. I hate the fact that I set my goals too high for this video starting to set in. Like, I did not have a single Doak Walker Award winner yet or a Heisman Trophy winner yet either. Yeah, no Doak Walker this year. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, dude. I needed to win, what, five of those things and three Heismans, there's no chance, man. Unless we got, like, really lucky. It's just, oh, man. Usually, I'm pretty good at setting goals for these types of videos, but I kind of took a big swing on both those goals, thinking that'd be possible, and I was completely wrong. But now, we're playing Toledo in the Las Vegas Bowl, so, I mean, there's a lot of outside distraction with this bowl, obviously. Hopefully, Coach Maverick can get the boys ready. I mean, we're a very disciplined team. It shouldn't be a problem. It should be an advantage, honestly. Not off to a good start to offense. It's really just not doing anything of value at the moment, so we need to try to get this fourth down, or we are probably gonna be screwed in the first half. X, that's touchdown. Let's go! Okay, there we go. Good job, Mr. Bragg. Dude, they scored again! Uh, I don't know what's going on with their defense the last two games, but they are just, I don't know, man. There's an issue, but we just need to score right here. Tight before the half will be okay. I'm gonna sell like Nostradamus right here, dude. This is gonna be the easiest touchdown known to mankind. Like, seriously, what kind of defense was that, bro? Good job, Luke Gal. Oh, yes, dude. We actually have a chance to steal this game, bro. We were not playing good early on, but we're tied at 21. Just need to get a field goal range, and it should be a W. R1. There we go. Luke Gow! Luke Gow! That was nice. Okay, we're inside the 50. Oh, yeah, that's a horrible pocket presence, but I don't care. We got our first stat, and we're definitely a field goal rate. Good job, Eric C -C -C Clock. I always got that guy's name wrong. And obviously, I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time to make sure I don't get iced. This should be... I don't know. Is our kicker good? I'm kind of scared. It's 40 yards away. Like, that's not exactly the easiest kick in the world. I mean, as long as he's got the power, it should go it. 
please. Oh my, dude, who is our kicker? Oh my God. Dude, how did this guy shank it that badly? Like a 69 overall is not that bad. Oh my goodness, dude. Well, I guess we're in overtime. Square, circle, circle. Oh, that's touch shot. No, Tanner, why did you? Okay, it's fine. It didn't matter either way. I just, you know, I decided to throw it on the run. That was stupid. Defense gonna stop. It's another run, tackle, or get pancaked. Everybody's getting pancaked. I didn't even pass command. Why did everybody get pancaked, bro? Oh my god. I'm scared. Okay. Oh yes, follow big up! Let's go, that's me! Go get six! Yes! Vasily! Vasily! <laughs> Dude, my user comes in clutch. Tanner, pat yourself on the back, buddy. Let's freaking go. That's how we're gonna win the SRS Las Vegas, boy. Yeah. What an epic way to end the season, dude. I still can't believe I actually did that with the whole user thing. I think that was like an out-of-body experience. But either way, out of the offseason, Leon is transferring. So is Vince Vermont. This doesn't really surprise me since we signed like a 70-plus overall quarterback. But why is Leon leaving, bro? Like, we don't really have that many defensive ends. That blows. Graduates, though. Luke Gal, Kemper Hodges. I mean, there's some solid players here, but there's only, what, five guys graduate? Dude, once again, we're gonna return a lot. The only thing I'm worried about is quarterback. Running back, we should be fine. But then again, Kemper only started for, like, what, half the season, maybe? It's just, it was not that much this year. It's shaping up to be a pretty awesome signing day, though. Like, there's nobody that's even in a competition for Devin. I think that we were battling Nebraska. It looks like we won out in the end, but he just needs to commit at this point. Then Craig Targon, we're battling Alabama head-to-head. -head. That is an absolute war, it looks like. Hopefully, Alabama just overlooks him since he's only only a three-star, but I guess we'll see. Ride right receiver, we really don't need those. It's oh, it's Air Force, dude. So I'm going after Corey Broad and also Ginny Loffley since that guy transferred. So we'll see what happens, but I feel pretty good about getting all four guys. I feel like we should. Did I get Victor Wicker? Corey? Oh, come on, dude. Dude. <laughs> oh, gosh. That happens so often, dude. They just don't commit anywhere. I always, like, wonder, like, where they actually go. Like, do they just not go to college? Like, I'm sure there's a justified reason for it. Like, it's in the game for a reason, but it just doesn't make any sense. At least you got Devin and Craig and Ginny, so we got three out of four. Making this the recruiting class for this year, and it's by far, dude, the best for Air Force so far. Oh my goodness, dude. This guy's 6'1", 352 is an offensive tackle, and his archetype is pass blocking. I feel like there's a lot of red flags there. Maybe I'm just the only one who notices how just there's a lot of things going on there. I don't understand how that works. He probably would have to be a lot lighter to be a pass blocker, and he's only six foot one at offensive tackle. I, he's probably have to move to guard, but yeah, this is definitely the best recruiting class so far for Air Force. It's really not even close. Like, Devin Estes is a stud. Craig Targon, uh, Will Bruce, Josh Whitaker, really good running back. Love the dreads. I think that's what that is. Oh, it's braids and dreads. Oh, wait, no, I think it's just braids. Yeah, it's just braids. He's got earrings, too. Those are cool. Brian Pody, fullback of the future. I mean, basically, we got everything we needed for our scheme. Like, Luke Wright, I don't remember what his speed is, but I think it's at least 70, so, like, he'll be a solid quarterback. Like, got some offensive line, but, like, I'm really happy. It also has to be the highest ranked of Air Force so far. Yeah, 41st, 3-4, Four stars up to a three star T prestige. We're coming, man. Slowly but surely, we are coming. Next step for this program is winning the Mount West Championship. Last year, we played against a team where they had an unfair advantage. Hopefully, their coach got outed and they're fired and everything like that. Hopefully, the program is going through the death penalty or something like that. Hopefully, it happened. But all I got to say is this team is definitely the best chance so far in this video to give us that Mount West Conference Championship. So I'm feeling pretty good. Braden's going to be our quarterback for this year. He's only got 65 speed. I have some questions, but I mean, when he played last year, he wasn't wasn't bad like nine touchdowns two interceptions like that's not awful it's just I'm kind of worried about how he's gonna be able to run the ball but I think the future of the quarterback room is looking much better after last recruiting cycle with Luke Wright and with this 80 speed stud Jeremy Jurgen. so yeah the quarterback future it's looking a lot brighter than it did beforehand and the same could be said about the offensive line room like there's a lot more young studs up here as you guys can see all these red shirt freshmen there's just so much usefulness into this room it's exactly what we needed so the foundation of the offensive line is set for the future now I I think the next thing it turns to is the defensive line. It's not it's not deep enough. I feel like we need to get some more studs of defensive line, especially defensive tackle, as you guys are going to see. So, yeah, we just need to address that, and I feel like we're going to be set up in the trenches for the future. Holy cow, man. Yeah, we got to win it this year. I didn't realize we're going to be at 90 overall. I would not have predicted that at all, but, I mean, it kind of makes sense because, like, this entire team is basically our first-year recruiting class, which was actually pretty good. But Boise State, once again, looks pretty solid. How does San Diego State look in the other division? There's an 86, but last year they were a little overall than me, or our team, I should 
would say, and they still spanked us. So who knows if their coach got fired or not. But either way, dude, we are definitely the best team in the Mountain West. Let's just go out there and prove it this year. Yes! Awesomeness! Let's go! We're 8-1, 5-0 in the Mountain West. Who did we lose to then? It's maybe the non-conference, but we're actually ranked in the top 20 as well. I kind of figured this. I mean, we're 90 overall. It's what should have happened, so really happy. The question turns to, who did we lose to? We beat Mississippi State and Illinois. We won two games in overtime. Okay, UNLV and Navy. Oh, uh, we lost a game in overtime, though, the Army, so that's where the loss was. 52 to 55! Usually, it's been our defense carrying us so far for Air Force. This year, it's definitely been the offense. It's not even up for discussion, dude. Oh my gosh. Got some great news on the trail, too. It's going beautifully. Need a defensive line, and we are addressing it beautifully. We got this Talik Peacock guy. <laughs> He's a stud Chuko, but yeah, we really need a defensive lineman. It's safe to say that we definitely addressed that, so I really have no complaints. Needed some cornerbacks. I also added a four-star running back, Justin Wilson, so that is our third one of the video. We need five to complete that goal. It looks like we are well on our way. Also got a tight end, so all in all, dude, I feel like we addressed basically everything we needed. We still have some guys up here we could potentially get to, so yeah, I'm super stoked with how it's going recruiting-wise. We gotta make sure we're focused and locked in. We have like a two-game lead on our division in the Mount West, but if we lose these last like two or three games, then we're definitely screwed. Coach Maverick sell. We just gotta take care of business against Colorado State. Oh, this is like an option play. Our quarterback's not that fast, though. But he's fast enough! Good job, Braden! I'd say things are going pretty well. I mean, we're up 14-3, to but they do have a chance to make it 14-10 to right here. I'm just hoping that we can try and get like a turnover or something. Come on, defense. Please, throw a pick! Throw a pick! Go get him! Go get him! Tackle! <laughs> No, I missed, dude. Frick. Looks like we finally created a good bit of separation. I think if we score a touch right here, yeah, it definitely would be GG's, boys. So let's just execute. A little fake. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Triangle. Is that actually going to get open? It did. I didn't even know what route he was on, but it ended up working out in the end. Good job, Brandon Hood. That's GG's. Kept off the season, smacking Wyoming and Boise State. That's an impressive win. I mean, we've been really dominant the last three weeks, man. So we finished 11 to 1. Brandon, how'd you do this year, stud? I'm expecting pretty decent stats. 1,900 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, only six interceptions. Like I said, that's pretty decent. It's his first year starting. I didn't expect anything spectacular. So good job, Brandon. Rushing the ball, Tyler Mason. Bro, 26. If this guy does not win the Doak Walker or the the Heisman that I don't know what I'm supposed to do because at this point I'm lost because with Army we didn't have a single Doak Walker award winner or a single Heisman and we had guys that had similar seasons to Tyler I think Tyler's definitely had the best season so far of this video but yeah dude he carried us on the ground it looks like receiving though oh my Thomas Jones we almost had our first the thousand yard receiver I don't know how we got so many receptions but yeah he balled out defensively Matt Russell again I'm gonna miss this kid bro it's his final season here 14 TFLs 20 for Melvin Laster good job buddy then he got six and a half sacks too. Good job, Melvin. Now it's time for revenge, boys. We're playing against the syringe men of San Diego State. Honestly, I mean, we beat them in the regular season, so I guess we kind of got revenge, but after what happened last year, bro, we are not done. We need to beat them again. Budge, bro. Looks like they might score first. What the heck? Pick. Pick. No, I should have ran with it, dude. That's my fault, Frick. Yeah, man, I don't know what's going on with the defense. They've sucked all year, and they're sucking once again. We're tied at 14. Hopefully, we can just, like, make it a field goal at the least. I mean, I don't want a touchdown to be right here. Dude, are you serious? Serious right now. He really just karate chop. That's gonna be a touch to cheese. Oh, Pete's dude. Finally, dude, the defense figured some things out. We're up seven points. We got a chance to make it what 14 right here. Yeah, we gotta make sure this happens. Square? Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, thank goodness it's not intercepted. Okay, we're just gonna take our field goal and hope that our defense can keep clutched up like they have the second half. Okay, so in this situation, they are settling for a field goal. Interesting. Maybe they have a really good kicker. And they do not! <laughs> Let's go. Okay, she said I thought for sure they're gonna make it, but they did not. So that means that Coach Maverick gets his first Mountain West Conference Championship. It's a great feeling, dude. We should be able to make the playoff, I think. Like probably is the 12 seed, so I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, dude, it's a really awesome season. Good job, guys. So proud. And we also get our first Heisman of the video. Thank you, Tyler Mason. Well, how many more do we need? Oh, we still need two more. It's the Doak Walker thing I'm worried about. Please tell me that Tyler got the Doak Walker, bro. This stuff doesn't matter. He got the Heisman. We know that Doak Walker, Doak Walker, Walter Camp. That's fine. Cool. Doak Walker. Yes! Finally, dude. A Doak Walker and a Heisman. Thank you. Playoff time. We got to play Washington. I don't really know how to feel about the matchup. I, didn't we play them with uh, Army and beat them when we were the 12? Maybe we did. I don't know. It feels very familiar playing Washington in the playoff. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I have no idea. We'll see. Looking like they may score first. It's a keeper of the quarterback, and there's not a defender in sight. Well, they are going to score first. Oh, my. We are getting destroyed, dude. What's going on? We're down 21. They have the ball in the red zone, too. Oh, Oh my gosh, okay. We need to try to get a stop. Should I recommend? We only had a three defensive lineman. I should have. I should have. Estes! Okay. Dude, are you... <laughs> 
<laughs> Come on, man. Feels like this game was over before it even started. I thought that we'd give them like a challenge, but they have just walked all over us, dude. We're down 24. If they score another touchdown, I think we're screwed, man. I really want to run commit, dude, because their running back has been tearing us up. So I'm going to run commit. Yep, I'm doing it. I told you. I told you. I got that. It's over. We might have gotten bent over, guys, but we got to press on. Matt Russell, I'm going to miss you, dude. This guy led the team in tackles every single season, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Just such a stud, dude. I'm going to miss this kid. Also, Tyler Mason, I don't know how all of a sudden, like, he went from 1,205 yards to 2,159. Like, he exploded. So I was super happy to see his development. I'm going to miss him as well. But yeah, there's some really good players. So like Joe Simmons, like all these true seniors are the guys that we had in our first recruiting class. All the redshirt seniors are guys that we had as soon as we took over the program. So yeah, it's kind of a nice blood of everything. We're losing a lot of guys, man, but it makes sense. The last two years, we've had like nine guys graduate in total. So thankfully, Saturday day this year was not very stressful. I just put 15,000 points to Xavier Griffin. He was the only guy left in our board. So it was pretty simple. Giving us probably our best recruiting class of the Air Force portion of this video. I don't know the one last year was pretty solid too but i mean the lowest overall in this one is just a 67 tight end so i don't know i feel like it's definitely better top to bottom so i will say it's the best so far for air force so i'm super happy with it eddie white though he's a juco i'm happy about this kicker as you guys saw because we had a kicker shank a kick was it this year or last year i will not get over that it was very disappointing nigel pipkin so two of our three best commits are jucos io jones though is not a juco talit peacock juco so i'm sure most of these guys are some sophomores and juniors do we got some tall guys too a 6'5 athlete, me likey. 6'6 six, six defensive end. I mean, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. 6'4 receiver, yes. I think it has to be ranked higher than the last year's, right? No, it's around the same. Wasn't last year like 31, so I think it's a little bit lower. But four four stars, 14 three stars. Up to a four star T prestige, too, dude. I cannot complain. I'll be honest, I thought we were gonna fall off, but looking at this team, I think we could go back to the playoff, man. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's looking pretty good. The defense, especially, is looking really, really sexy. I'm liking what i'm seeing out of the defense and you know we should have good running backs once again so it'll be interesting but honestly i would not be shocked to see us back in the playoff i mean we'll see if we get lucky again because that's mostly what it is is luck so i guess we'll find out but tommy davis is gonna be the starter this year i'm excited to see you can do 86 overall 75 speed he's got 99 awareness that is a great sign you know that means good things for quarterbacks tommy boy do not let me down dude and this is what i'm talking about bro linebackers on defense are insane 88 overall cj long 91 devin estes 80 89 Delvin Brent, even 85 Nick Nichols, 85 Dante Rutledge. Like, we have an insanely loaded linebacker room, bro. So, I would not be shocked if our defense probably carries us this year. Now, our cornerback room leaves a little bit to be desired because they're pretty young, but yeah, man. I think the linebackers should definitely carry the defense this year. We should be right to the top 25 for the preseason AP polls, right? I mean, I'd imagine probably in the 20s, if I were to guess. Somewhere like 21. Oh, right there at 12. Oh, man. We're the same overall as last year. I can't really be upset because it's kind of what I expected, but yeah, we're also up to a four-star team prestige, but I definitely saw that during the offseason recruiting. It's just nice to see again, but yeah, basically the same exact team as last year. We'll see if we can replicate what we did. Yeah, I mean, this is what I expected. We have a loss. Looks like it was in the NAG Caverns, but we're 6-1. and 4-0 in the Mount West, so I will take that defense. been really good as expected. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked it's only 90 overall, to be honest, but it doesn't help that our cornerbacks are kind of crappy. And it was our first game against UCF. We lost in overtime, dude. Ugh, it's depressing. The rest of these games, though, actually, no. We had a close game against navy but besides that dude we have really dominated everybody else so maybe there's just a blip on the radar at least i hope so we got a big time road game this week though new mexico they're four and two so they're not a bad Matt west team by any means coach maverick so we got to make sure the boys are ready to play man because this crowd looks rowdy we definitely have not hesitated dude we're already up nine points let's go let's keep doing what we're doing keeper go quarterback fast yes oh that's such a right let's go tommy boy yeah he's been a good runner this year as you can see on the screen good job tommy davis keep that up dude and we're about to score again aren't we dude they have eight total yards of offense <laughs> Dude, we're dominating them. Let's just keep doing what we're doing, boys. Score again. Am I crazy for thinking this is going to be an easy touchdown? Yeah, I guess I am crazy. Well, I guess we'll just settle for the field goal. I mean, we've only given up, what, eight yards of offense, I said, or something crazy. So just kick the field goal. We'll be at 19. I like their little end zone there. There's like a, what is that? A New Mexico Lobo back there? We got our mascot over there, too. There's a lot of things going on in the background, but our kicker was not distracted. Good job, buddy. What more is there to say? Dude, this has just been a slaughter. They have one first down. I honestly thought this game would be close. Obviously, I was wrong about that. But yeah, let's just score again. And just put the nail on this one, I guess. A little triple option time right here, baby. Is it going to be a give to the fullback? 
Or is it going to be a fake? It's going to be so hard to tell because it's such close quarters down here. But I got to... It's a give. It's a give. Brian Potty fight, big boy. Let's go. That's why you get a good full pack for this triple option, dude. Good job, Brian. It's GG's, man. Capped off the season beating Army. Yes, we got revenge for last year, dude. The offense has been insane. I really hope we have a Heisman Trophy candidate this year. There's a number of guys it could be since, you know, the triple option. There's like three options because triple, you know, that's usually how it works. At least I think. Either way, though, it's another season where we finish 11 and 1. Tommy was really solid. 23 touchdowns, two interceptions. I, as soon as I saw 99 awareness, I was like, bro, this guy's gonna ball out for us. And he did exactly that. Yeah, there's no chance we're gonna win any Heismans, man. Uh, 1,500 yards for Mo Mosser. 900 for Tommy Davis, bro. He almost had 2,000 passing and 1,000 rushing. That would have been super impressive. And then it looks like Artie Lowe was our third leading rusher with nine touchdowns. 12 for Tommy and 14 for Mo Rosser. Receiving, I'm sure these guys are happy. They got some more action this year. Jameer and Thomas, Thomas Jones, Eric McClocklock, um, and then uh, Mo Moses, Molzeis. Volney also got in the action, but yeah. We're never a passing team, so it's not really shocking those numbers so low. Who's the new one? It is Dante, who led us in tackles this year. He used to be Matt every single season, but now that he's gone, it was also Delvin in second, who led us in TFLs. Good job, Delvin. He also led us in sacks, man. Recruiting this year has been pretty solid. I don't think, I don't know, though, because we don't have any Jucos, so actually, we have one Juco, but I mean, last year's class looked a lot better because we had so many freaking Jucos in it, where it made the overall look higher. But like this class, I don't know. I think it's pretty comparable to the last two. I don't think it's bad by any means. I feel like maybe we could have done a little bit better, but I think next year recruiting class will be even better because we have the instant commit thing now fully maxed out for Coach Maverick. And next year we should be a maxed out team prestige. So I think next year's recruiting class will be insane. But now we got a defender Matt West Conference Championship playing Nevada. I don't know if we played them in the regular season, did we? I don't recall. We did not. Okay, interesting. But Lee Corso thinks we'll win, so let's just prove him right. Mixed signals, you know, we're upset seven points which is good but they have the ball literally inside our five yard line so maybe we could just try and get a stop or something that'd be a good idea we gotta play super aggressive down here bro okay it's a run up the middle brett no i got blocked dude frick what happened oh my goodness dude this game is unraveling right before our eyes oh wow okay yeah we're gonna need to get a stop right here dude no touchdowns interception come on i know you want to throw one i know you want to throw one Okay, I think he was out of bounds. That guy was an idiot. He easily could have gotten a first stint right there if he just had better footwork. So they will settle and take a field goal, but the offense, dude, they got to figure it out or we are definitely screwed. Okay, we actually have a chance. This is all I could ask for. We are down seven, but it's fourth and seven right here. We got to make sure we convert this. If we do that, we are definitely screwed. X. Triangle, can that be a first down? You got to fight for me, Tom. Thomas, dude. Yo. Oh, thank goodness, dude. Thank goodness. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna have a chance. <laughs> okay. X, that's wide open. That's easy. Tommy boy, let's go. Good start. Okay, we're already in their territory. I mean, you'd think that you'd play more aggressive defense down here against a triple option team. I'm just gonna run the ball, bro. This should be the easiest touchdown ever. Yeah, easy. Okay, we're going for two, boys. You already know the strategy. Oh, I'm scared. Two slants in an out route. Something get open, please. Get out of there. Tommy, you're fast. You're fast. Oh, circle. Tommy, let's go. He's a freaking playmaker. Let's go, boys. Do not let them score a field goal. Please don't get mossed. Please. Oh, my God. Dude, he launched the Siberia. Yeah, there's no chance. <laughs> Let's go, boys. We're going to escape with another Matt West Conference Championship for Coach Maverick, dude, out of the playoff. Here's that playoff, and my God, we got shafted on the draw, dude. We got to play Ohio State. If we somehow pull off the miracle, and we got to play Alabama, bro. Oh, my God. I don't see this going well for us, I'll be honest. I'll give it my best, but I don't think we're going to win. Oh, we have the chance to score first. We sure as sure got to take this opportunity. Make the right retainer. It's a keeper. Tommy boy, pitch, touchdown, that's touchdown, baby, that's called the triple option extraordinaire, dude, I'm teaching it, I'm a teacher at this point, not the student, I'm now the Yoda. Color me shocked, dude, I honestly thought we were gonna get thrashed, so far we're playing really good, we're up three, and we have the ball in the red zone, so, score again, make this a 10 point lead. Circle, back to the end zone, Tommy boy with a laser to Colt clock, good job, Eric. Yes, guys, we have our chance to win, actually, we're up four points, we can now let them get a touchdown, it's as simple as that, come on, defense. I believe. No, he's so open. Okay. okay, well, at least you have a chance to take the lead again, I guess. Dude, frick. Circle. That is a lot of yards. That's already field goal range, isn't it? Oh, dude, it's cold clock again. Let's go. Okay, we're already in field goal range, basically. X, touchdown. No! Okay, there's two seconds left. Thank the heavens. Okay, we're going overtime as long as you can make this kick. You got this, Tanner. You've been iced before. You've got ice in your veins, basically. It's just like blood. Easy peasy. All right, we're in overtime now, boys. We'll see if we can win it in, uh, yeah, the overtime. They're not going to run. They actually ran it. They actually ran it. Oh, my goodness. I thought for sure they're going to pass, dude. X. Circle. Please be a touchdown. 
Oh no, that was stupid. Oh, I should have lobbed it. Was that, are we for sure though that was in bounds? It looked like that was awful close to the sideline there, Mr. Zebra Man. Did you get your binoculars out for that one? Come on, let me see this one again. I think it was out of bounds. Oh, it was definitely in bounds, dude, frick. Oh my gosh, I thought that was gonna be a laser, dude. I could have sworn that was gonna be a laser, man. It's so sad, we could have beaten Ohio State, but now we're gonna move into the offseason, and Morgan Farrell is trying to transfer, which I don't like at all, because he's honestly a pretty solid tight end, and yeah, he's gone. But good news is Devin's coming back for another season. Thank you, Mr. Devin Estes, and then Chase Common is gonna get drafted. Best of luck in the NFL, Chase. Graduates-wise, like, we're losing Jacob Bragg at tight end, like, we're losing some guys that have been around the program for a little while, Tommy Davis as well. Like, I'm pretty sure most of these guys, yeah, they're they were in our first recruiting class. At least most of them were, I'm pretty sure. So I guess it's kind of a bittersweet moment. You know, it's unfortunate we couldn't win them a natty, but they were close. Just like last year's Saturday day wasn't very stressful. Coach Maverick, he went to the laser tag facility. He got some shots and he's a big laser tag fanatic. He's not very good at it though, but he's trying his best to get better at it. Just like everything else in life, the more you do it, more often than not, you'll get better at it. As long as you're trying to improve, you know? Like I'm sure all these football players on the screen had to work hard. Now it also helps that some of them are like insanely genetically gifted. You know, 6'2", 250. I mean, that doesn't grow on trees. 6'5 and receiver Alexander Leger. Sucks that we can't really utilize your talents. I don't know why a receiver would ever want to commit here. Thankfully, we've got a tight end because our guy transferred. So, really happy about that. We got a four star quarterback, too. But this guy's kind of a bust. Brandon Gibbs. I don't remember what his speed is. I think it's like 90 or something ridiculous. Maybe it's like 80. I don't really remember. But yeah, this class is pretty solid. Like I said, I think next year's class will be the best of the video so far, if I were to guess. But this class is still pretty good. Like, we got our punter of the future. We got Trent Gleason, Donovan Thompson. Joe Makalalu, um, Nathaniel Martinez. Like, there's a lot of good front seven players. Corliss Blankard. I mean, I like it, man. Probably around the same ranking as the last couple classes. Oh, it's actually higher. Okay, we got more four stars this year. I told you we would, man. We're slowly but surely just climbing up. The more stars the team prestige you get, the easier it is to recruit. So, next year, like I said, it should be even easier, but I'm happy. Year seven is here, and this team, once again, defensively, it's got to carry, bro. How do we have so many good linebackers? I just realized we have two of our best players playing the exact same position. I definitely should have moved one of them to defensive end. Why did I not do that? Oh my god, I'm stupid. Okay, you know what? Maybe the CPU will like maneuver something around and make it good. I don't know. Make it all sparkly. I have no idea. And we also have two really good running backs on our first row. So that's a good sign. The thing I wish we had though was like some offensive linemen up here. Even though we have two of them, maybe a tight end. I don't know. The team's solid. Like, I don't think that this team's like anything like unbeatable. Could we win the national title? Definitely. I mean, I've had worse teams win a national title. So it's definitely possible. I mean, we shall see. Luke Wright, though, is going to be our quarterback. I don't really know what to expect. He's from Taze Valley, West Virginia. Uh, 69 awareness. Nice. But uh, it's not really nice at the same time because he's, like, not very aware. That's, like, the most important statistic for quarterbacks, at least in Sims. So I don't know how to feel. There's good news and there's bad news in the linebacker room. It's incredibly good for this year. But, dude, there's, like, no young guys except for this guy, Donovan Thompson. So we need to recruit some linebackers this year desperately. And we need to recruit some cornerbacks, bro. But I said that last year. I mean, we got a couple, but they're just, there's not enough. You know what I mean? Kind of the same thing with safety. There's just not enough depth on defense outside of like the old guys we have. So we need some youthfulness into the defensive room. But all in all, man, like I said, the defense is going to be insanely good. First schedule this year, I'm trying to challenge ourselves kind of like what we did last year. Uh, we're playing the Mormons week two. And we're also playing Kentucky week three. So hopefully those two games we can maybe split or maybe even go 2 0. Oh, hey, you know, it's possible. I'm not going to count it out it could happen then we gotta play navy and army of course so our not coverage choices are kind of limited because we only have two games to choose from because we got army and navy obviously and i'm not gonna change either of those games but mount west wise we've been dominating it i know last year we got pretty lucky in the mount west conference title but i'm not really concerned about the mount west honestly i told you i wasn't concerned man we went 11 to 1 and our one loss was in the nag conference so it was probably why what were the two teams who played the mormons and it was the other one was kentucky right so probably one of those two we lost to but eight no in the mount West, our offense was insane. The defense was even better, bro. Alrighty. Whoa. It was not the Mormons or Kentucky. Who was it then? We beat Navy, New Mexico, Utah State. Wow. It was Army. Dude. Every other game we played was a blowout except for the one loss we had, dude. How did my guy Luke do this year? I'm not expecting much. Nine touchdowns, two interceptions. Not particularly great. He only threw for 900 yards. We don't even have a thousand yard passer. I'm guessing we ran the crap out of the ball. Josh Whitaker. Oh my God. He had 34 touches. <laughs> How is this guy's legs not falling off, dude? He said 375. <laughs> Everything I'm looking at is just so hilarious right now. He has 34 touches. <laughs>
This guy is a one-man offense. I recruited him, I think, the first recruiting class of the video. One of the first couple. And I had a feeling that as long as he didn't transfer, this guy would be a stud. And, dude, was I right. He's barely gotten the ball, but that changed this year, dude. He's still averaging seven yards per rush. At 375 attempts. Oh, my God. Receiving, I'm sure all you guys are very pissed off. <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. I cannot get over that. That's the most absurd stat line I think I've ever seen in one of these videos. Like, this is, like, there's everything I'm looking at is just insanity, bro. All right, let's look at the defense. CJ Long is our best player tackles wise. Most TFLs was Delvin Brent. He has the exact same face as our running back. <laughs> and then uh, he had the most sacks too. So that face, apparently it's got like some good luck to it or something. I don't know. Everybody that has a face is apparently a dog. Recruiting this year has been interesting. I had to be a lot more selective because I needed really high overall guys to come in and start immediately. So yeah, we didn't really find like that many high overall outside linebackers and middle linebackers that we actually got to commit but we definitely address like the numbers issue there like i don't think we have many team needs oh, we still need three middle linebackers dude <laughs> we needed four outside linebackers and three middle linebackers honestly as long as we can get jared smith dominic ball and danzel jones on signing day which i think we should be able to honestly i think the class is gonna be really stinking good so keep on carrying us josh Whitaker. take us to the national championship dude there's no chance he's not winning the heisman and the doke walker every award give him the quarterback award bro give him every award in college football Football, but we're playing San Diego State. I mean, it should be a dub. I'm not really concerned, man. Oh, well, maybe I should be concerned. We're down seven, and they have the ball at the goal line. This is not going well at all, dude. What the heck? Reception, please. Oh, my goodness. Not like that. I think the offense is starting to realize that they need to stop sucking. All right, we're down 10. We need to get soda here. It's non-negotiable. I feel like in this situation, it's pretty cut and dry. Just give it to our running back. That's literally the Hulk, apparently, with cheetah legs. I don't know how he's so good, but hey, just give him the ball. Touch tackle job, Josh. I think it's pretty clear that I definitely underestimated San Diego State. I should have known better after what happened last year, but we just need to score a touch right here. Should be able to get the lead. Hopefully, we just win the game. Am I crazy for thinking we should just run this? I mean, it's four down territory. Got the best player in all of the country with the ball. Dude, what? Why did nobody block? Okay, well, if nobody's gonna block anyone, if I would've known that beforehand, I wouldn't have done that play. What the heck? Well, shoot, dude. It's all gonna come down to this play now. Oh, God, this is stressful. Please, somebody get open. Square? Yes, it's open. Let's go! Really? He's gonna drop that? Oh, my God. Okay, well, um, so much for winning this game, dude. Are you serious right now? I can only play myself, man. I thought this game would be way too easy, and I was clearly wrong about that. I mean, I guess we'll find out if I should make the playoff or not. I guess we'll see, man. I'm not gonna give myself any, like, sort of special treatment, so I guess we'll find out. I guess we got lucky, dude. There's a bunch of, like, 9-3 teams here where there's a lot of sucky teams, so I guess we're pretty fortunate. We played Oklahoma in the first round, though. I don't know, man. Maybe we can recapture the magic we had this season, but after what happened last game, I am not feeling confident. Just like last game, man, we are up to a rough start. We're down 7 to nothing, but at least we're at the goal line. We just need to make sure we punch it in. I don't know what this play is. I kind of like it, though. It's a keeper. Keeper at the quarterback. Let's go! Good job, Luke. They scored a freaking guy, too, but at least we could tie it before the half. So, so far, it's been pretty even, so we just gotta make sure we get a touchdown, because if we have to settle for a field goal, that would really blow. X. Oh, that's the easiest touchdown ever, dude. I could have made that throw. Good job, Luke. This is literally deja vu from the last game, bro. We're down 7. If I get a touchdown, I'm going for 2. Will somebody get open for me? I think that's the question. I hope so. Zerko, get out of there. Just run. Just run, Luke. Let's go. Okay, easy touchdown. Okay, we're going for two, boys. You already know. This isn't exactly our bread and butter, but I think they're expecting the triple option. I don't think they're expecting a pass right here. Oh, God. This is awkward. X. X. Luke. Oh, please. Get in the end zone. Nielsen. Run. No, what? Dude, are you? Oh my gosh. I thought he got in there, bro. I thought they. Are we sure he didn't get in there? Can we like double check and triple check Zebra Man? Okay, well. He did not get in there. That's great. You guys set up for it. Hopefully we can get this onside kick and get lucky, bro. Come on. Please. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right. We just need a field goal, boys. Let's go. X. X. Got to get open. Yeah. He did not get open. He did not get open. I saw man-to-man. -man. I was like, our tight end's got to beat him on that route, and he did not. It's usually a route that beats man-to-man. -man. That's my justification for it. I will die by that. This sucks, dude. Don't you worry. I still feel like an idiot. I thought he was a beat man to man, but that was my fault for assuming. But Ben Morris is trying to go to the draft. No, Ben. Stay Ben 10. What's the Lombardi? I don't even... Okay, well, there we go. I convinced him to come back. Thank you, Ben. Oh, my God. 
Wow. How? Dude, this guy's gonna start next year. He's like our only linebacker that's not actually graduating, and he's transfer. You want to play period? You're gonna play next year. Sometimes the logic with these transfers just makes negative sense. He's literally the only linebacker we have that's not a senior, and now he's transferred because he thinks he's not gonna get playing time, but he's the only guy that's gonna be back next year because look at all these linebackers, dude. Every single draft pick is a linebacker. Oh, my goodness dude i cannot believe we just got shafted like that that guy was easily gonna be our best linebacker next year and now we are officially screwed at linebacker bro graduates though or anybody else i mean there's a lot of good players leaving man oh my goodness gracious the defense is gonna take a clear step back this year man i think that much is obvious gonna lose jt nielsen or tight end too so we'll see it man but yeah i think we're gonna take a step back yeah we need to get all three of these guys man am i confident not really because uh, i'm sure we're gonna get shafted on this but just put five thousand for all three Sometimes this works, you know, you have like three elite prospects you really want and you're like in the battle for them And you just throw 5,000 points to each of them The only thing I'm worried about is the fact that I'm sure that Northern Illinois has this Jared Smith guy at the top of their board So, I mean, I, I might be the same thing for Oklahoma Like you, you just don't know, so I guess we'll find out Please, 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 please Oh, we got two out of three We did not get Danzel Jones Danzel, it's alright though, honestly Because there's one person we didn't really know need it was a strong safety because we have dominic anderson down here so it's not the end of the world it would have been nice to have gotten him but we really just need a jared smith and dominic ball so i guess i'll take those two making this our class for this year and it's honestly really solid i wish we could have signed more guys but in order to win these like highly contested recruiting battles i had to put 700 points into most of these guys like the entire season so i couldn't really spend the points that i wanted to on other guys if that makes sense but i mean we got most of our top targets so i can't be too upset like dominic anderson jared smith is definitely going to be a day one starter ed marquez adiba that's a sweet cornerback name dominic ball jonathan obasi got another really good receiver that was just will never get the ball curry barnett jr big boy tight end i like that and then just a bazillion outside linebackers down here i can't really complain it would have been nice to have gotten like another really good outside linebacker but it is what it is i don't think our rankings would be that high because we didn't sign that many guys hey 14 that's not bad we didn't gain a team star prestige though that kind of blows offseason trading how is everyone looking looks like beds will be your big boy best player uh draw oh my goodness josh is 97 speed up to a 95 overall that guy's a stud muff and we got a lot of good juniors it looks like so maybe next year's team will be even better but this year's team is still pretty solid but yeah most of these guys are juniors it looks like so who knows i think it's basically a carbon copy of like the last three teams like this team will probably be like around like a 90 overall i think the defense will be a little bit worse because of the linebackers even though i did move some guys around and we actually have a couple of linebackers that were already on the roster like peter Glasgow and then this David Henner guy so I mean our linebacker situation isn't that bad we still need to recruit some this offseason though or this recruiting cycle for sure I think and we got Luke back at quarterback for this year 89 overall junior he's got 78 awareness I mean he wasn't like anything great last year he was okay I mean he ran the ball not great I mean, he's not fast he needs to be able to pass better I think that's pretty much all I could really ask for the guy because he's not much of a runner that's obvious defensively though our best position group has to be defensive tackle Ben Morris 98 overall and then he we got a backup any white 90 overall then look at the depth of defensive tackle dude oh my goodness dude why can't we recruit like this at every single position bro it's actually absurd like look at the youthfulness it's so beautiful man but yeah we need to try and recruit some more linebackers a couple of corners and i think some running backs right yeah we need to get some more youthfulness into the running back room that's for sure off to a 1-0 start we beat marshall by 12 hmm i don't really know how to feel about this performance i was hoping we'd kind of blow them out maybe they're decent i mean luke played pretty good at quarter package <laughs> this kid is just <laughs> He's gonna ball it again, dude. Honestly, I think it was just the defense, bro. Like, 38 points is more than enough, but hopefully the defense can figure some things out. The second game of the season, though, Coach Maverick has us playing a familiar face. Oklahoma, these jerk wads were the reason why we did not win the national title last year, although, you know, we had to win a couple more games afterwards, but still, you get my point, okay? We need to get some revenge. And for our revenge game against Oklahoma, we have a number of guys visiting, six of them to be specific, and we got some running backs, some offensive linemen, some safeties, some middle linebackers. All these guys are team needs, so it'd be awesome if i could get all of them to commit if we could win this game so please just try and pull off the upset they struck first but it's okay we're gonna score here i got confidence in the squad did josh get hurt or something where's josh at i don't like this at all it's a keeper keeper let's go good job luke yeah i don't know where josh is at man mr whitaker we need him out there very very intense situation okay guys we're up four points which is nice but it's in the third quarter we need to make sure we get summer here i do now have to sell for a stupid field goal please be touched on x oh it is 
Let's go! Oh, made it easy for Tanner, dude. I just stared at the Micah Kajagard guy the entire time. Oh, yeah. Here we go, guys. This is where we land the knockout punch, or at least where we attempt one. Okay, we're at five points. The other touchdown. It should be GG's. It's a read right here. I gotta be smart about the read. It's a keeper. Gets the outside. Luke, right? Let's go, Lucas. Lucas, let's go. <laughs> okay, that should be GG's. Of course, man. We got to sweat this one out. Didn't we recover an onside kick against them? I feel like they're probably due to get one against us, right? Oh, thank you, Mr. Mitchell. He did not let that happen. Now it's definitely GG's. Good W, boys. I am not taking three commits. We got Jerry Walker and Zach Dariso. We also got Tank. That guy's first name is really sweet. I like that, but we did not get the rest of the guys. I think we had six visits, so 50%. It's not bad, especially the two highest overalls that I visited, so I can't complain. Dang it, dude. Is this like the fourth straight season we finished a little bit of one? I mean, it looks like we actually lost a Mount West game, which sucks. Truthfully, the defense really wasn't that great this year, but I kind of expected that. I'm curious who was the loss to. We beat Oklahoma. You guys know about that. Wyoming, Navy, Utah. Oh my goodness. Lost to San Diego State by two in overtime. Huh. And then every other game we won, it looks like. That blows, dude. They better crypt tonight, like most of this video. For or Air Force, at least. I will say, though, I'm very intrigued by these statistics. I'm very much looking forward to this. Luke Wright, not great. <laughs> he had 10 interceptions. Lucas, oh my gosh, dude. Talk about a regression. Dude, he's at 92 overall, and this guy just sucks, man. Thank the heavens we have Josh. He had another insane season. Oh my goodness. Wasn't as crazy as last year's, but, I mean, he still was in incredibly good dude this guy's a baller pro ladarius oricoria was also really good luke right though he was all right receiving you know if you guys want to get pissed off at anybody don't get pissed off at me get pissed off at luke because he just sucked dude it's his fault okay i blame luke for the offense's issues if they had issues jared smith is hurt though the true freshman had the most tackles nigel pipkins had the most sacks and jared still had the most tfls our quarterback sacks i should say this kid's gonna be a stud here bro hopefully you can get back from the injury on the trail though we got this six eight defensive <laughs> yes let's go william cooper this class is looking really solid dude needed some corners needed some secondary needed some more linebackers needed some running backs that's right we picked up how many four-star running backs one two is that five out of five then yes it is so that's our first goal to be accomplished of the video so far good job coach maverick all right anything else to take away from this not really just a bunch of solid players got a lot of linebackers again dude but we need plenty of them so i'll keep taking them seriously this is the team we lost to bro they have a 76 defense <laughs> this is the team we decided to lose to in the regular season but at least we have a chance for revenge in the mount west conference championship we did not win this bad boy last year so we gotta win it this year dude i really hope this game is a spanking bro we already up seven points let's just keep doing what we're doing it looks like we're doing good so far let's just run the rock dude josh whitaker hopefully back-to-back -back heisman trophy winner there we go joshua he's not gonna be the dad good job josh dude things were going so well oh my gosh we're tied okay i just need to focus we're gonna be okay just score a touch right here tater someone can help it please i'm begging of you oh gosh r1 Dude, right. Luke! God, he sucks so much, dude. Oh. Luke has been assigned to the dungeon, bro. I don't understand why he's so bad as a 92 overall, man. But we're up three points. I guess that's good news. And would you look at that? Now we're down seven, dude. Oh, my gosh. This team makes me want to gouge my eyes out, bro. Okay, it's fine. I see. We're okay. We're okay. Just get seven points in here, Tanner. We're going to be okay. Keeper. Go, Luke. Go. Please be a touchdown, Luke. Come on. I know you're the fastest guy in the world. Luke, let's go. Okay, we're going for two. I'm not risking for the biscuit i'm going for the w last time i did this it did not work but i am a determined man to change things x x let's go okay defense gonna stop man up three deep pass rush right here come on evers i need it out of you bro spin get off him evers cash day oh this guy threw it way too far oh thank goodness gracious we survive all right on the playoff guys josh is single-handedly carrying me so far dude that is our third heisman of the video which means that we have accomplished our second goal with three heisman trophy winners josh having two of them we still need three doke walker award winners so josh can you please tell me that you want a doke walker award please come on josh okay heisman we know that much yes thank you josh doke walker thank you 
you, okay? So we're three out of five. We just need two more of those bad boys. It looked like we had no chance like a few seasons ago, but now it's looking really good. So we're back in the playoff, I think for the fourth time with Air Force, and we have yet to make it to the second round, and we're already here. So hey, that's progress. Play Miami. They barely beat Toledo only by six, so that gives me some sort of hope. I mean, who knows, dude? All we need to do is just win three games somehow, guys. That's all I'm asking. Just somehow win three games. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Axe, please get open. Thank you. Good job, Barnett. Let's go, Karim. Well, you know, we started strong, but since then, we have fallen off an absolute cliff, dude. We're down seven to six because our kicker missed the extra point, and they're at the goal line. Hopefully, the defense can just hold him to three or something. Maybe get an interception. That'd be ideal. Oh, it's, a, it's just a run. Tackle, please. Are you serious, right? Okay, thank goodness that was not a touchdown, bro. I thought for sure it was going to be. So they will most likely settle for a field goal, though. It is possible they could fake it right here. So be on your P's and Q's, guys. Okay, no fake. And they make the kick, unfortunately. Oh, my gosh. We actually have a chance to steal this game, dude. I don't know how. We're only down four points late in the game. Just score a touch right here. Come on, Luke. I believe in you, dude. R1. Oh, let's open it right. Lee, please make a throw. Yes, let's go, Luke! Oh, I thought he underthrew it for a second. Okay, we're gonna, yeah, kick the field goal. Be at three points. Oh, no. Please. I got clicked off. Please, it's just a jump ball. It's a jump ball. Oh, my gosh. Come on, pass rush. Get the quarterback. No, that's not the... I was hoping to get clicked out of the defensive lineman, dude. We just can never win in the playoff, bro. Never. And it's picked off. <laughs> oh, is this the fourth straight season we've lost to the first round? Or like the first game of our playoff run? <laughs> Goodness. Man, these like four or five last seasons have felt like the exact same. Every season, bro, we always do good in the Mountain West. And then we make the playoff and we lose in our first game. It's just depression. But Craig's coming back and so is Luke. Honestly, dude, Luke could have left. I wouldn't have cared less. Guys leaving though, Ben. Morris, no, Josh. Oh my gosh, Luke, why couldn't you have gone and Josh stayed? That's my question. I'm gonna miss this kid, bro. He was an absolute monster. He was not as good as he was last year, but still, dude, he was by far the best running back in college football. Josh, I'm gonna miss you and your cool haircut. Also, Eddie White and Yuri Evers. Graduates, though, we're losing Brian Pote, our best fullback of the video, or I think so. Even better than the ones in the Army video. I don't really remember though off the top of my head, but just a bunch of solid players, man. Gotta move onward, Coach Maverick. Offseason, it's been a resounding failure so far, but we're going with the 6 night strategy. I know it did not work earlier, but I've got belief in it, dude. It is tried and true 99.9% .9 of the time it works. Devin Kuhar? Pretty sure this guy is an O-lineman or a D-lineman. I want him, and then Jaden Wishham. You guys know we need tight ends in this offense, so hopefully you get both, because they would both be really big pickups. I told you, man. Devin Kuhar and Jaden Wishham. We were going to get him. The 6 night strategy is once again successful. Very, very happy about that. That's awesome. Giving us our first top 10 class of the video. We are also finally, dude. I don't know why it didn't happen last year, but we are officially a maxed out team prestige. I, I told you guys it'd be the best class of the video so far, but I think next year's class would be even better because I thought last year we'd get the final star, but this year we actually did. And this is that Schmexy class. Just imagine like a beautiful piece of pizza because that's the best food on the earth, except for the one in Chicago because, you know, I went to Chicago once, had a piece of pizza and I choked on it, almost died. So screw Chicago pizza, uh, even though I don't really know. There's this place in Ohio called East of Chicago that I absolutely love. So maybe... I I am a Chicago pizza fan. I don't quite know. But either way, just imagine a beautiful slice of pizza. That's what this class is, man. And this guy is like the best pepperoni on it. William Cooper, 6-8 defensive end. I might cry, dude. I mean, I'm jealous of him in every way possible, but dude. 6'8", we will gladly take those beasts. Jerry Walker has the chance to be the next Josh Whitaker. He's a stud. Zach Dariso. Are any of these guys Jucos? Just realize that. None of them are Jucos, bro. That is what I call success. Why couldn't Josh have came back, dude? He would have made this team insane. Like, this team looks really steak and solid. I'm honestly surprised. Now, it's helped that we've been able to recruit four stars because we got some good young guys up here, as you guys can see, like Jared Smith and Dominic Anderson. They're two of our best players. But yeah, if we could have Josh come back, I honestly think that we could win a national title pretty easily. I don't want to say easily, but I would bet a good amount of money we'd have a solid chance. Now it's kind of up in the air. Like, we could, but at the same time, I'm not betting money on it. Because this guy, Luke Wright, just sucks. For whatever reason, he's at 97 overall. I mean, his awareness is up to a 92, but he is just not good, bro. Like, he got even worse last year. I don't know what the problem is with this kid. I don't even know what the NFL sees in him either. I, I just, there's a lot of weird things going on here. Maybe his dad's, like, a very powerful person. Maybe he's, like, the mayor or something. I have no clue. And we'll see which running back will take over 
it might be Ladarius Oricora or Orikea because this guy, he got carries behind Josh last year. Also got Corliss Blanker. Like, we got some solid guys behind him. It's just having a 99 overall running back definitely would have made the team better. Pretty obviously. So, yeah. I miss Josh. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone at this point. It's literally the same season every year. We have a loss. It's not in the Mount West Conference this year, though. So, it looks like we lost in a non-can. And it was two Clemson. Oh, by two on the road. That would have been such a good win, dude. That's annoying. And then the rest of these games. Any of them close? Ooh, we had an overtime win against Colorado State, which is pretty disappointing. But besides that, we've been taking care of business so far, it looks like. And we've also taken care of business on the trail, dude. Goodness gracious, this recruiting class is awesome, bro. I told you guys, man, those star and the prestige and stuff like that. So unbelievably important for recruiting. It also helps out that, you know, Coach Maverick is maxed out as a recruiter. So there's really nothing holding him back at this point. But we picked up some quarterbacks because we needed some. Ronald Burton looks like a future stud dude he's got 83 speed he's gonna be perfect for the system but honestly i think we're gonna win a national title before he even gets the opportunity to play here which kind of sucks but yeah man recruiting's going awesomely once again this week though we're playing boise state i have no desire to play this game i thought i was going to at first but then i realized how awful they were going into the loaded screen too they are very very bad i expected a lot better from boise state so this should be a blowout i don't see how this game will be close hopefully i'm not like jinxing myself and yeah i was right one by 17 good job guys now i get to take a look at these stats luke please good news bro tell me you didn't suck 24 touchdowns four receptions that's better luke that is better man good job for you proud of you luke rushing i doubt anybody yeah not even close so darius you tried your best maybe if you would have gotten more carries but 6.9 yards per rush isn't bad 18 touchdowns only 5-3 for Corliss blank card receiving with a first thousand yard receiver i think of the entire video tj samuel the cool afro 6-4-191 he got 11 touchdowns too good for tj man happy for you bro and then uh j michael alexander was her best tackler who was her most tfls jared smith again that guy's so good bro five and a half sacks for carl wilkerson the six six run stopper i'm excited for this guys the last couple years this game has given us way too many problems bro fresno state's like six and six please just Blow them out, man. That's all I ask. I'm liking this so far. I already have seven points. So let's just score. Make it 14, guys. Simple as that. Just run it right at him. Bigger, stronger, faster. This running bat is ginormous, dude. Holy cow. I like that. Oh, it's so beautiful, dude. We're actually blow them out. We're up 21. Let's just score again. Make it 28 to half. Why couldn't we do this the last couple years, man? Like, we're better than all these teams. It's just we play crap in this game for whatever reason. But we're finally figuring things out. But let's just run it right at him, too. Come on, Latarius. You're bigger, stronger, faster, tougher. Yeah, it's easy, bro. It's easy. Let's go. Up 28. I guess you can go this like the cherry on top. But I don't really like cherries on top. I'll just have extra whipped cream if you ask me. Oh, my gosh, dude. Our kicker insane we'll need that for the playoff boys i like that great way to end the regular season or the copper championship you know what i mean in the playoff and we have a chance against clubs of the team that we lost to in the regular season very much looking forward to this game they destroyed ohio state they're 12 and 2 they're obviously very good but i have confidence boys we got this we're down seven nothing but it's okay we've been down before we're, we're gonna be all right we just see you get seven here luke running back sweep right here it's gonna work yes Fight! Let's go! Good job, Justin! Here it is, guys. We have a chance to take our first lead of the game. We need to make sure that we take full advantage of it. Come on, guys. Good seven. X, maybe? Oh, yeah. It's gonna be man coverage. Oh, yeah. All day, every day. Good job, Christoph Demarcus. Oh, my goodness, guys. We have a chance to win this game. Okay, we just need to make sure we don't choke, because we've done that before. We're tied at 21. Just get in the field goal range and ice the game. We got this. X? Oh, perfect play. Okay, we're already past midfield. Good job, Karim. Oh, dude, he's wide open on the curl route, isn't he? Yes, he is, Luke. Let's go. Oh, little yards after catch me. Likey. Okay, yeah, we're definitely field goal range now. We just gotta milk it. I'm not gonna let them ice us because, dude, like I said, it's just not checkers around here, bro. Even though I think we have the anti-freeze thing. Either way, though, our kicker's insane. Even though we missed the extra point this game, he gets vengeance. Let's go, boys. Out of the semis for the first time with Air Force, dude, finally. And we have Texas A&M who beat Georgia Tech by six, and they also... Uh, that score on the right is confusing. I don't know. My brain's barely working as is. I'm not even going to try and figure out how it's 0-0 zero to zero on that side. Either way, just try and beat Texas a up Tanner, we got this, guys. Got to draw first blood. Fullback dive. This should be easy, right? There's, like, nobody up the middle. They don't even have a nose tackle right up this, uh, the A-gap. There we go. Rattle Brown. Easy touchdown, man. Dude, we can make it 14 now. The defense is playing phenomenal. Okay. Just get it. Yeah, easy. Just run it right here, right? Just run it right at him. Bigger, stronger, faster, tougher. That's the Air Force way, baby. Let's go! The Darius. I I don't know what's going on, bro, but our defense is like having an out-of-body experience or something, dude. Let's just keep scoring. I think we scored at the touchdown. It should be GG's. That's touchdown. Oh, my goodness gracious. <laughs> We're killing him, bro. It should be GG's. I'm 24. <laughs> 
I think we just had to get the monkey off our back in that first playoff game, but now we got to play Penn State, who has gone through the ringer, bro. They need to beat Texas, Alabama, and Missouri, so I'm sure they're very seasoned. I'm sure it's not going to be easy, but that's just how the national championships are. We got confidence, though, Coach Maverick. I don't think this toss is going to work, but I'm going to try it. Oh my gosh, you pick 84. You get a gold star, dude. What a pancake. That was awesome. Let's go. Oh, man, they got a safety on us? Okay, well, at least we mitigated the damage and we didn't let them get a touchdown off it. That's nice. All right, we need to get somebody here, though. That could be a touchdown to uh, Ladarius out there. It is a touchdown. There's nobody out there. There's nobody out there. It's just not checkers, baby. Man, I'm smart sometimes. Let's go, Ladarius. Okay, they definitely made it a lot closer than I would have liked, but it's okay. We still have five points. Get a touch right here. Make it 12, right? That's math. Yes, okay. Come on, offense. Run it right through their teeth. This should be an easy touchdown to the outside. There's no reinforcements out there. That's super easy. Let's go, Ladarius. Up 12, guys. Not great at all. You know, we still have the lead, which is cool, but we're only at five. We need to recover the side side, though. Please. Oh my, okay, thank you. It got, it got bounced out of bounds to Portugal. Okay, we just need to get one first down and it should be GG's. That helps with uh, field position too, so we might already be in field goal range. Oh, running back counter, I like this. Yep, yep, I like this a lot. Yes, Ladarius, cut it in, sir, let's go! That's GG's, dude, yes! And finally, Coach Maverick, after our fifth trip to the playoff, we get a national championship for Air Force, dude, yes! Okay, two out of three, we still need to get one for Navy, but dude, that is really refreshing, man. It felt like it was taking forever. Good job, Coach Maverick. And it did feel like forever because we made five straight playoffs in the first four. We did not make it past the first game that we actually played. So, yeah, I mean, we went 12 and 2, 12 and 2, 11 and 3, 12 and 2. And then finally, we broke through in year nine, winning Coach Maverick his second national title. Now we just need Navy. Offseason for Navy, and there's only 15 guys leaving. So, that's pretty nice because, you know, with Army and Air Force, we need 30 plus guys leaving both programs. So, that's good to see, man. There's not going to be that much turnover. And Coach Maverick wasted no time, dude. Transfer Portal Hall is here. Eight AJ Turner, Stud Muffin, Ryan Manning, Stud. Actually, AJ's a sophomore. It kind of diminishes his value a little bit, but he's still a decent player. And then James Falk. I'll take him at tight end. He's a big boy. Okay, I will take these three. What kind of recruiting class did the prior regime have? Looks like they recruited a four-star. Okay, anybody else? It's uh, it's not a spectacular class. <laughs> 48 overall, Daniel Hill. Ugh. But like I said, the good news is we don't have like 40 guys leaving the program. So I can't really be upset with this. Like, it's not really like, none of it's my control, so I can't really be upset with it at all. Like I said, Isaiah Garcia, though, pretty good. So, I mean, there's some decent players here. Like, there's some stuff to work with, even though they recruited a pocket passer, and the scheme does not need a pocket passer. That is quite interesting. Honestly, it's probably ranked decently high. Yeah. Oh, we got two four stars. Okay. Well, the prior regime definitely did a good job when it comes to the class rankings, but, I mean, there's still a ton of crap in this class, unfortunately. Oh, man. The squad that we are going to be working with for year one, it's, uh, you know, it's not, it's not, obviously, it's bad, it sucks, okay, I'm not gonna try and twist it, but I mean, the bright side is our best players are fullbacks, so that kind of fits our scheme pretty well, we got some decent running backs too, but yeah, this team is really rough, man, <laughs> like, this roster's not in good shape. There are some bright spots, though, like, Blake Horvath is gonna be a pretty solid quarterback, at least for this year and next year, and then after that, we should have Braxton Woodside take over, and he looks to be really athletic, and then also, they had this freshman that I didn't even see, apparently, maybe he walked on for something for the prior coach, but Christian Clark, he looks incredible as a true freshman. So, I mean, there are some pieces to work with, but just like with Army and Navy, we need to try and have as big of a recruiting class as possible, because this roster, it's so bad, man. Put this on a list of things all the way at the top, along with Reacher Season 2 sucking, as things I did not expect to see. Whoa! Okay, I mean, it's only two games. I can't overreact too much, but... Okay, Southeast of Missouri and USF. Yeah, I can't overreact to that. USF's pretty good, though, so maybe we have something here. I mean, it is a triple option effect as you guys have seen throughout this video like it's just a cheat code so maybe it'll be this way for navy in year one we'll see if we can keep the magic going we're playing temple this week they kind of suck too just like us so i mean maybe we could just out not suck them if that makes sense that sounds really weird just win the game and for this game against temple we have 12 guys visiting i'm honestly pretty shocked by how sexy the recruiting board is looking early on so if we could somehow win this game i honestly think we might get some commitments dude triangle is that touchdown horvath Oh my god, it was a laser right over the defender and Todd Hall. What a conversion in the fourth and long. Good job, guys. I can't speak English, sorry. Well, chopsticks, dude. They get the lead now. They're up three points and they have the ball in our territory. So maybe we could just like try and stop them from scoring a touchdown. I feel like that would be a W. Okay, is it a handoff? Yes, it's Ramos. I miss it. I'm so bad. God dang it, dude. This is not going well. I think it might be official. The beatdown has commenced. We're down 17. I don't know what happened, bro, after that first drive. It's like we just packed our bags. We're like, hey, you know what? The game's probably over. 
silver. We don't need to score anymore. Well, they were wrong. We needed to score more, dude. Maybe X will get open. Okay, X did not get open. Get out of there, Blake. Oh, he's not that fast. Balls, balls, Ooh. ball. Yeah, game's over, dude. Fudge, man. This is a missed opportunity, dude. I don't think any of the kids in the visit were impressed, that's for sure. Man, is this ugly. Somehow Chris Smith actually committed, but look at all the plus 100s, man. <laughs> oh, we got two commits, actually. Kentron Arnold, okay. But yeah, most of these guys that actually have a brain and used it to their full advantage did not commit. Don't blame them, but hey, we can still get them, so I'm not exactly, like, too disheartened by any means. I just don't understand it, man. Oh my goodness, how? We're like the best 72 overall team to ever exist, bro. We finished 8-4, and 6-2 in the American. I mean, we won, what, 7 out of our 8 games were FBS schools? That's just... That doesn't make any sense whatsoever, bro. After the Temple loss, lost to Air Force, then we beat Tulane, lost to Memphis, we beat Charlotte, lost to the Leprechauns, then wow, we finished on a four-game winning streak, beating East Carolina Food, FAU, and Army, our rival. So last four weeks, man, we have been cooking. It sucks like most of his team is all seniors, except for Blake, so it's kind of nice that he's coming back for another season. He wasn't, like, particularly great, but he wasn't horrible either. It looks like Anton Hall was okay. Yeah, how did we move the ball? How? Oh, I, I don't know how this team scored, dude. Average like four yards a carry. Do we just go for it every fourth down? <laughs> like, I just don't understand it. Receiving wise, yeah, just not much here. We have a lot of old guys, dude. Yeah, we need to re keep recruiting really strong because there are so many juniors and seniors on this team, man. And then defensively, just more seniors. Jordan Sanders got the most tackles, the most TFLs, and he also got the most sacks, man. This guy was pulling out all the stops. Thank you, Jordan, for your service. On the trail, though, we lost Deshaun Florence to Nebraska. He's going to become a a corn husker pretty sucky but he's just a 65 overall not really the end of the world especially considering this is by far it's got to be the best first class of the video i know that we had a really good one with air force i think it was if i remember correctly maybe it was army too i think we both i don't know though dude i feel like this class is really stinking so like the lowest overall is 69 i don't know my memory's not great i know we had a really good one at least i thought for army and air force maybe it's just like an all service academy thing but like we even got a really good quarterback taylor jackson for the future like i I have no complaints, man. This is a really solid first year recruiting class. So good job, Coach Maverick. Birmingham Bull for us. For playing the Vampire Piggies, I'll be honest, they are probably like way better than us, but that has not stopped us from going eight and four this year. So who knows what to expect, man? I do not. Yeah, we are not helping our case right now. We're down six to nothing. It's not going well at all, but I, I'll be honest, I kind of expected this. So I can't be surprised. Maybe we could get a stopper here because something lucky. Who knows? They're going to run the ball, aren't they? I mean, okay, they're not. And they're just going to pass for a touchdown. It's great. So the defense thought they were definitely running the ball. So did I. So we all got faked out, apparently. Man, they scored again. Oh, my gosh. I can't act surprised, though, dude. I figured this would be a butt whoop. But we're down 20. Maybe we could score a touchdown right here. Just, like, show some signs of life. But we'll see. Oh, God. Get out of there. R1. Yes. Okay. Nice catch, Fafana. Good job, Dabba. That's a sweet name right there. Dabba Fafana. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I like the fight. We're only down six. Okay. Yes. I did not expect this. I thought this would be, like, four. 40 to 7, but if we can recover this onside, things could get really spicy. Okay, come on. Recovery. Cut recovery. Oh, dang it. Okay, is there enough time? I think there might be. I don't know. We're going to see. It's going to be cutting it close, but I'm going to try and get a stop right here. I mean, it's going to be another run commit. They actually passed. Oh, it's stupid. Oh, no, they completed it still. Oh, we're going to have like seven seconds, bro. Ugh. Oh, I just realized. What if they make it? We'll be down nine. Oh, they shanked it, though. <laughs> there's a chance. Okay, there's a chance. Five seconds. We're down six. We can make something happen. Crazy, maybe. I don't know. I haven't heard a fat lady sing yet, guys, and neither have you, apparently. We're not giving up on the dream. Come on. Let's make everybody that's a Navy fan proud. All the Marines out there. All the Naval Academies. Oh, no. Well, you can't say we didn't try, so... At least we got that going for us, I guess. I still don't know how last season happened, but hey, man, it's a good sign for the future. We got some weird magic going in our favor. Blake, though, is coming back. I don't know how the NFL is interested. Not trying to be a jerk, Blake, but uh, good for you, dude. Graduates, though, there are so many guys leaving, bro. There's like 20. I mean, I don't know why. There's so many old guys on our team. It's like an ancient civilization or something, bro. We gotta lose Dabba Fofana. I'm gonna miss this guy. Transfer time. Who are we bringing in? Carlton Lumpkin. No thanks, bro. 
bro, Chacho. You can stay at Buffalo. Uh, Dante Reno, though. Ooh, me likey that. And then also Dontrell Holt. Those two look like they could be pretty solid players in the future. I'll definitely take both them. But Carlton, like I said, yeah, you can stay at Buffalo, man. We don't need you. First Saturday for actually, you know, Coach Maverick's actual class. One last year. That was, you know, the prior regime. We're going after Avery Smith and Chinedum Thomas. I could, like, try and put, like, 4,000 points to both them and, like, spread some points around with JV on and John Snow, but I don't know, dude. They're the two highest guys left on our board, and we still need corners, so I feel like it's just don't overcomplicate it kind of situation, so let's just hope for the best. Success! We got Avery and Chinedum. We also ended up getting Antonio Potts, so I'll take those three. Let's go. Making this officially Coach Maverick's first class at Navy, and it's really good. I don't know how he did such a good job. I'm gonna try and redshirt as many guys as possible, because I'll be honest, dude, this is, like, a really good core. Like, I could see this core, guys, turning into a top 10 team. I wish I was exaggerating, but I'm really not. The lowest the world's a 67, dude. This is like a really outstanding first class. Like, obviously, it'd be nice if we've gotten more people, but 14's not that low. I mean, we got studs like Avery Smith, Bobby Cagle, or Cajal, or Devontae March II. We got some athletes, too. I mean, I don't know what to hate about this class. We got a quarterback of the future. I mean, maybe if we got a running back, like, that would have been cool, but we had that guy walk on last year. It's like a 75 overall, so we didn't really need one. Probably ranked pretty highly, if I were to guess. 65th. Ah, we got a four-star walk it on i gotta cut that hole again but yeah i'm pretty excited man we did a really good job in my opinion last year was miraculous magical all the big words that mean lucky because i don't know how it happened this team is just not great dude i don't know honestly what to expect i mean we definitely should suck but i thought the same thing last year and we didn't so i don't know like i said i'm kind of uh wait and see at the moment blake though he is by far our best player who's the next highest overall in 81 <laughs> oh gosh dude yeah he's gotta carry us this year even though this is not a quarterback centric offense he does have 99 awareness though 78 speed and 82 excel so like he can run the offense it's just you know he's gonna have to do more than that because he is our best player and it's really not even close good news is though that our running back room is probably our best position group we got christian clark this guy's gonna be an absolute stud i'm calling it right now he is going to be an absolute monster and then we also got brandon chapman and then we got like a bazillion juniors down here so yeah we got to keep recruiting running back since it's such a vital position but i mean i feel pretty good about our running back and our quarterback so that's a pretty good side i'm so lost dude i just don't understand i oh goodness gracious dude i feel like i'm back in ap u.s history dude i'm just a lost puppy i don't under it just doesn't make any sense i don't know how we're so good we're 77 how good is the rest of the american dude there's really memphis is a 90 and we beat them dude <laughs> Our only losses to SMU in overtime every other game we won. I mean, granted, some close games, but we beat that 90 overall Memphis team. Ah, we had two losses. I forgot about Notre Dame. We beat that 90 overall Memphis team by 25, bro. Like, what is happening? Look at the last three weeks. Oh, my gosh. I don't understand it. I don't know what's going on with this team, but I like it, dude. It makes the rebuild for them definitely easier, especially if we can just get one more win. We'll be able to recruit four stars next year, which is awesome. And speaking of recruiting, it's going beautifully once again. I don't know what it is man but coach maverick so far is just killing it at navy like everything is going well recruiting on the field stuff i mean the lowest overall is 67 do i think this class is as good as the one last year probably not but that class was surprisingly good and i don't still don't know how it happened but i'm happy with this class though dude we got 379 overalls only one of them is a juco and this guy's six seven. Oh yes we all know what time it is though boys army versus navy the final week of the season i'm looking forward to this game dude if we win this game we'll be 10 and 2 i'm pretty sure the american already clinched like at least our division so this is for recruiting four stars next year which is very very important so let's just try and pull it off not after the best start per se but i mean if we score a touch right here we'll be up a point so that's not bad yeah that's not too bad little fullback diver Rui. it should work easily right Good job, Tesca, or yeah, Texica. Ooh, okay, we can extend our lead right here. Let's take full advantage of that, guys. Keeper, Blake, Blake, I touch on Blake Hovath. Good job, Black. Hey. Okay, I don't really know how to feel about the situation because I feel like in this situation I always give up a touchdown, but we're up seven points. I mean, it's as simple as this. Just don't let him score a touchdown, guys. Come on, defense. High faith. All coming down to this. Honestly, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna pass rush him with the fond. That sounds French to me. The fond. Oh no, he threw it too quick. Ah! 
that was kind of stupid. Why do you throw it so fast? Didn't wait for him to get to the end zone, but he was scared of LaFon. Let's go, boys. Good dope. We got to go Detective Tam in on this one. How are we so good this year? Blake, he wasn't even that great. What? I just, I don't understand, dude. I can't wrap my whole 60 IQ around how exactly this season happened. I, I don't, I just, I don't understand it because, like, Christian Clark, I knew he'd be good, but it wasn't like he was, like, outstanding, like, 5.2 yards per rush. Like, that's that, like, gaudy. I mean, it's good, but it's not, like, justifiable for how good we were this year. I mean, Blake was really good running the ball, too. I just, I don't know, man. Receiving, Cody Howard got hurt. That sucks for Cody. Uh, Ryan Manning was pretty good, so was Joshua Jackson. Uh, defense, Nazir Rogers was our guy. Who got the most TFLs? It was Crahan Lafon. Oh, the Lafon, the Frenchman. Good job, Crahan, and he also got the most sacks. Making his home country proud. Good job, Crahan. Honestly, at this point, everything else is just icing on top of the cake, bro. Like, we already got 10 wins. This season, it's a success. I really couldn't care less how this game goes against USF. I mean, we'll try and win, obviously. It looks like it's snowing, too, so maybe Mother Nature's on our side. Maybe it's a sign or something. I really don't know, but I guess we're gonna find out. Little tossy toss to the outside to Christian. He's in the open space. Okay, Christian, I like this. I like this. Oh, Christian, Christian, yes! Let's go! I don't know what we do before the game. Do we, have, like, slip laxatives in their Gatorade or something? I, I don't I don't understand why every game is just, like, we should not be in this situation. Honestly, they, there should be a blow-up, but let's just score again and execute. Triangle! That's touchdown. Touch what the you. heck is going? It's Christian Clark again. Christian. I do not know, dude. Do not ask Tanner because I don't have a clue. Ask one of those smart people. I like uh, due to crimes and stuff. The detective people. I always wanted to be a detective, but you know, with my low IQ, I feel like I would let a lot of people down. So it's definitely not the avenue for me. But either way, I just need to focus and get another touchdown. It should be GG's. Come on, Chapman. What the heck was that? Blake! Oh, no. He sabotaged the mission. Honestly, dude, 11 points does absolutely nothing for us. I want to make this 18, make it a three-possession game. I'm not gonna... No. No field goal, bro. Get Christian Clark out there. Let's feed the beast. Now we got him out there. Feed the hungry hippo. Come on, Christian. Come on, Christian. Cristiano! Oh, no. I went the wrong way. Oh, God. Well, that's awkward. As long as we can get a stop right here, that mental blender that I just put our offense through really won't matter. Oh, it's a screen. Dude, these things never work in this game. It's a legal man downfield, so it doesn't even matter. Dude, there's no way. Yeah, there's a legal man down. so stupid. Like, that lineman was like 30 yards downfield. Maybe I'm playing too off. I'm running the screen again. Did they not learn the first time how stupid this stuff is? Yeah, dude, like, what are we doing? Oh, my gosh. They deserve to lose after that. So that means that in his second season, I don't know what's happening. Don't ask me. <laughs> I don't know, man. Coach Maverick, he's doing his miracle stuff or something. I don't know what's going on. Dude, I freaking love it, though. Good job, coach. Yeah, man, I don't see us going well. We're playing Texas in the Cheez-Its Bowl. <laughs> I just, I don't know, man. One of these days, like, we're going to get murdered like we probably should. I mean, Texas is a 99 overall. We're a 77. Like, this should be an absolute spanking. If we could somehow hold them to three points on this first offensive drive that would be a massive w i don't know if it's gonna oh screen over there jacob get over there jacob jacob come on tackle tackle oh yeah oh he missed the tackle but he forced him out of bats good job so they're gonna take their field goal i mean i consider that a w it's gotta be right yeah because i thought for sure they were gonna get seven good job defense dude it's happening again i am serious i don't know I'm just so lost, dude. Whatever I'm doing with this team, I need to figure out with every other team I ever do. It just doesn't make any sense. Let's score. Let's do a little tossy toss with Christian Clark. I have a good feeling this is going to work. Christian. Out to the outside. Yeah. Easy touchdown, bro. It's easy touch on the season probably for Christian. Good job, buddy. We got the lead in the second quarter. I think the universe finally stepped in and said enough is enough. They're up three points. It's not like it's that much, but if they get a first enter here or score a touchdown, we are definitely chucked. Okay, it's a run. Tackle. Or North tackle. Okay, well, that's all they needed. So they literally could just kneel the ball, what, three times in his GGs? We'll see if they do that, but, I mean, it's really as simple as that because we have no timeouts now. He missed the tackle. It doesn't even matter. It's GGs either way. They weren't going to let the clock determine it. That guy was determined to get a touchdown. Well, at least, you know, it was close, so I can't be upset. These off seasons are a lot easier when we keep just shockingly doing good, but Brett Smith is transferred to Louisiana Lafayette. Don't know why, but I miss you, Brett. And then our first draft pick, I think, Blake Horvath. I still I don't know why the NFL is so intrigued by him. Maybe he's the reason why we're so good. I don't know. I guess we're going to find out next year. But besides that, I mean, we're really losing, like, not many or any good players. Like, the highest overall is, like, a 79. I don't know, though, dude. Maybe it was the senior class that had some weird magic to it. You know what I mean? Maybe they had some sort of, like, game plan before every game, like I said. Maybe some laxes or something to the opposing team. I don't know what they did. Hopefully, we can just keep this train rolling, even with these guys graduating. Yes! Thank you. This is exactly what I needed. Javante D. 
75 overall from NC State. I don't know why he's transferring, to be honest with you, because I feel like we've been recruiting pretty well, but hey, he's interested. We will definitely take this kitty cat. Thank you, Javante. Saturday day is here. Blake Burns and Daryl and Negrin. I think we're just going to go after both these guys. We don't really need another cornerback, Mike Courtney, because we already have like a few of these guys committed down here, and we had a really good corner class last year, too. So I'd much rather just get the defensive lineman in Daryl, because, you know, we can never have enough quarterbacks, because this guy, how fast is he again? I'm pretty sure he's decently fast, like 70 speed, like, that's not bad. Mission success, we got Blakey and Daryl, so two for two. Mike, would have been nice to have gotten you, just didn't have enough points, so he's under Kent State. Where's this class ranked? 47th? We got another four-star walking on. The good news is we can actually take him this year, because we had a 10 plus one season, so that's nice. We're also up to a four-star T prestige, but dude, it's only year two. I cannot express how shocked I am and how well this is going. I feel like everything is breaking our way right now, which means eventually I'm going to start getting shafted because that's just, you know, the balance of the universe. So I guess we'll find out. But 17-man hall, I'm super ecstatic with it. I don't think this class is as good as what last year, but it does have more people and more depth. So I feel like combining both these classes is pretty good. So yeah, I can't really complain. Like, I think we did a really solid job. Like Steve Darwin, I'm very excited to see this kid. Six, seven athlete. Love it. Tim Tanner, Rick Ipolito. Those guys are both true fresh, which is nice. Nate McDonough, Corey Powell, Quentin Noodle, uh, Blake Burns. I mean, there's just a lot of depth down here, too. Some corners, some tight ends. I got no complaints. Off-season weight room work. Oh, my goodness. Christian's up to an 89. You stud. Also got a plus 7 for Fabian France, the Frenchman. Do we have a lot of Frenchmen on our team? Didn't we have one at tight end or something like that? I don't really remember. I think there was one last year. But, yeah, dude, three of our four best players are going to be running backs. That is an awesome sign for the offense. But, all in all, you guys know our young guys are basically most of our best players, even though we have a lot of seniors up here, too. But I'm pretty happy with our core right now. Like, I think we're doing a really solid job. It also helps when you see all these plus fives, dude. Oh, my goodness. These guys are working hard. They are not content, even though they won 11 games last year somehow. I think they know that their luck is going to catch up to them, so they're trying to grind. And I appreciate that. Dante Reno is going to be our new quarterback. I like his last name. Isn't that like a place in Nevada? Reno, Nevada? It sounds familiar. That might be the place where they gamble and stuff. I have no idea. But he's got 87 awareness, though, which is a great side. His acceleration is awful, though. 56. Yucca duck could do. So I don't see him being much of a running threat. I mean, 72 speed's decent, but 56 Excel is just so bad. But yeah, 87 awareness, he should be able to take care of the football. That's all I really need out of him. Because we have this stud Christian Clark at running back, we also have a couple of seniors. I had to cut some because there's like five seniors that were just never going to play at running back. Fabian France, Brandon Chapman, and we got this young guy, Demetrius Emmanuel. Really looking forward to him. But I'd still like to get another like really insanely good running back. Maybe we can get like a four star this year to help out with our goals. But Nate McDonald's down here as well. Like our running back room is very, very vital. We also need to get a fullback this year. I got to focus on that because Texca is leaving us next year. And our backup is Nathan Carrington, a walk on who sucks. So I got to try and get a fullback and a running back hopefully this year. It was definitely not the graduating class. We are still insane. 7 0, 5 0 in the American. We've only given up 50 points this year. <laughs> What is happening, bro, with this team? Coach Maverick, I don't know what's in the water over here at Navy, dude. Maybe it's laced with PEDs or something, but I'm liking it, dude. I mean, none of these games have been close. Not a single one. Even Memphis would be 45 to nothing. <laughs> The most points anybody scored on us was too late when they scored 14. This is just absurd, bro. I don't know how to explain it because I just, <laughs> I don't get it, man. And then on the trail, we got some new commits. We actually have a four-star running back, I think. So we got to add that to the, wait, no, it's already, we've already gotten five out of five, right? Yeah, we've already accomplished that. The only thing we need is two more Doak Walker award winners. So I need to stop worrying about that. But yeah, oh no, this recruiting class is pretty solid so far. Honestly, I don't think it's going to be as good as the first year class. I still don't know how we managed to put that class together, but I mean, it's not going to be bad. It's just I don't know, dude. I did a lot of scouting, and I didn't really find many good players, so usually when that happens, you're kind of screwed, because you have to go after the best players that you scouted, and we scouted a bunch of just, eh, players. Like, Brandon Moody looks good, but I'm pretty sure he's a junior, too, so I don't know. It's time to find out if we're really legit, dude. We're playing Notre Dame at home. I don't know how our defense, it's averaging, giving up seven points per game, which is just the most absurd thing. I think it's the best start I've ever seen in a defense for a dynasty before, so we'll see if we can keep it going. And what do you know, dude? Dude, they're already down at the goal line on their first drive. I think that our pixie dust is it's gonna start to shake off, I guess you could say. I think that was Tinkerbell that had pixie dust, right? Yeah, our Tinkerbell pixie dust, it's gonna shake off this game. Dude, whoa, the offense is picking up the slack right now. Let's go. Okay, we're down two because our kicker missed an extra point, it looks like. So that freaking sucks. We'll be all right, though. We're gonna get seven right here. Keeper, pitch, touchdown. That's touchdown, baby. Let's go, Christian Clock. Let's go. 
Oh, yes! Oh, my goodness gracious, dude. I just... <laughs> This is just so bizarre. I've never had this in a video before where an 82 overall team is this dominant. I don't know what's going on, bro. Let's just score again. Let's win this game. Keeper. Pitch. Touchdown. Oh, my goodness, dude. The Frenchman. That guy's fast. Fabian. Yeah, this game's over. I just... I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I can't say I'm surprised. We finished the season, beat East Carolina, Florida Atlantic. Ooh, we barely beat food. That was overtime, and then we barely beat Army. So the last two weeks, the defense has really started to suck. So maybe teams are starting to figure us out or something. I have no idea. But how did our guys play? Dante was, he was not bad. Like, he didn't really have to carry much because, you know, obviously we have Christian. But 14 touchdowns, three interceptions, that's not bad. He's still just a redshirt sophomore. And, yep, Christian Clock was incredible. Not as crazy as, like, uh, I think his name was Josh Whitaker, but 2,000 yards rushing, basically 5.9 per rush and 27 touchdowns, though. That's incredible. Also, Fabian France was also really solid. Receiving really nothing here. Ryan Manning got hurt, which kind of blows, but, you know, it's not really a focal part of our offense, so nothing really here to gauge. Defensively, though, Jackson Campbell, the right outside linebacker, was our best tackler in Crayon Lafond. Yes, dude, the Frenchman. He got the most TFLs and the most sacks once again. Good job crayon now we're playing utsa in the american conference championship they're six and six i mean they're better than us they should beat us but everything that's happened this year shouldn't have happened so i don't really know what to believe dude elite course though thinks we'll win so we'll see definitely did not expect this we are down three and they have the ball at our goal line so yeah this is quite strange this is foreign territory maybe our defense gonna stop they've been really clutch this year we shall see okay he's on the red tackle and roll Yes, okay, I think they're going to sell for a field goal then, right? Yes, they will. Okay, so we're still in this bad boy. There's plenty of time. I knew that we'd figure it out. We're up eight points now in the third quarter. Business is booming. Let's just keep scoring points, guys. That's touch on a circle. Oh, they left it. <laughs> Let's convert a fourth and 15. Oh my goodness. Let's go, boys. You know, man, at this point, I just need to stop questioning it. And I just need to admire how awesome this is, dude. We're like an 82 overall, and we just do not lose. It's awesome. We're up seven points in the fourth quarter. Let's just score again and ice the game. That's not the right. That's not even the right route I wanted to throw to. I wanted to throw it to square and circle got open anyway. It's GG's. All right. Everything's going well. Everything's going right. There it is, man. The American Coverage Championship. We'll see if we can keep this magical season going in the playoff. I'm excited for it, man. Playoff time, and we've got Miami. Uh, they destroyed Memphis, but hey, we also destroyed Memphis, so I'm not going to count ourselves out, especially since we beat Notre Dame, and they're really good. So, yeah, we can do anything we put our mind to. It. Yikes. Looking like we might be coming to an end here, guys. We're down 14. I mean, the bright side is if we can get 7 here, we'll be back in the game, but we need to get 7. R1? Is that a touchdown? No, I... Oh, dude. I tried to pass lead to the sideline. That was... Okay, uh, that was stupid. Didn't really seem to matter too much. Our offense still got a seven points, but the bad news is they have the ball right back in the red zone, dude. So the defense has to clutch up right here. Come on, boys. Pass rush. Pick! Pick! It's, yes, let's go! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. That was a stupid throw. <laughs> Good job, defense. Yeah, it's back to bad. It's really bad. We're down 14. They have the ball. It's said to 10. Maybe the defense could come a clutch again, but that was, I don't know. I feel like that was pretty lucky. Okay, I'm feeling pretty... They just ran the ball? Please don't let that be a touchdown. Okay, well, that was... I don't know. I mean, they're gonna be up 17, so either way, it's kind of a win-win, but I feel like that was kind of stupid. And yeah, they made the kick. That's not really surprising. All right, guys, we're gonna need a massive comeback. Yeah, the comeback has not exactly got to plan. We're down 24 now. Gosh, dude, why couldn't this happen in the regular season against Notre Dame? I knew this team was full gold, but I'm just glad that it's finally happening for once, honestly. Okay, it's a keeper. And there's just, they blew it up, bro. I tried to pitch it, but he hit me too quickly. This is just, oh, man. I can't be upset, though, dude. I don't even know how he still went 13-3. I can't be upset about this, though, dude. Look at all the transfers. What the heck, guys? These are some of our best recruits last cycle. I'm gonna try and convince you guys to come back. Okay, well, he's gone. That blows. Okay, Corey Powell. Come on, bro, Chacho. I know receivers don't get much here, and he's gone, too. That's great. Okay, 0 for 2. Ryan Mack. Come on, dude. And we're 0 for 3. That is awesome. And we have a good bit of graduates as well. I am just like, why did all of them transfer? I don't understand it, dude. I I don't know. But it looks like uh, Fabian France has gone the Frenchman. Also another Frenchman, Crayon Lafon. So we're going to miss some of our overseas international players. But all in all, we're not losing like too many studs. I mean, these guys were some of our best players, but we definitely have recruits that will be better than them in the future. It's these three transfers I'm more upset about, to be honest with you, dude. Saturday days arrived, and I'm going to try and pull off the biggest finesse of the century. Not even those guys that rob banks and diamond stores and all that stuff. This is going to be the biggest finesse of the century i honestly think that we can get all six of these guys now will we probably not because you know tanner
Buccaneers going to swing, and I will probably miss, but I mean, we got to get at least three or four, right? I mean, I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like this could go really well, or it could go really bad, so I guess we're going to find out. Come on, big money, big money, big money, finesse, finesse, finesse. Oh, we did not get Brett. We did not get Kareem either, but we got, you know, what's that, four out of six guys? Like, I can't complain about that. It's actually pretty good. I wish you could have gotten Brett, though, but I didn't really need a kicker. It was just kind of like he's a really good one, so I don't know what he's to do. Maybe we'll go overseas and play soccer or something. I have no clue, but he is not going anywhere in college for kicking. So this is the class for this year, and honestly, you know, it's not horrible. I feel like it could have been better, but honestly, I think this is more a depth class than anything. The last two have been really, like, high quality. Like, there's been a lot of solid players in them, so this is kind of like the foundation, and recruiting is only going to get easier because we just cannot seem to lose on the field, so I I'm not really concerned, to be honest with you. We got some four stars, too, but like I said, some of the scouting that we did, some of these guys were just bust. Like, they just were not as good. Like, there's a bunch of four stars that were, like, 71s and 68s. It's just like, there's, that's not that high of an overall, you know what I mean? But Brandon Moody's a stud, even though he's a junior Juco, which is pretty sad. Got a really good receiver. Chris Rauschenberg, uh, James Rogers. I mean, there's some solid players here. It's definitely gonna be ranked the highest, because we signed the most four stars so far this video. Yeah, five four stars. Almost maxed out team prestige, dude. Yes, we are moving up in the world, bro. Top 20 class. I am a happy lad. Dude, awesome news. Jamal Griffin is a six foot four 80 overall running back. Oh, yes, dude. We found our next Christian Clark, dude. I really hope this kid is not transfer because we got chatted with transfers last offseason. I also have other good news. This cornerback I thought was a junior. He's only a sophomore, bro. Brandon Moody is going to be a future superstar, dude. So all in all, man, the side of day, it seems to have aged like really well. I mean, we'll see what positions these two guys play. It looks like one's a running back. Actually, I might move these guys to safety, but I don't think they're as crazy of an overall as that running back was. Yeah, they're not. So dude, honestly, great news on position changes, man. I did not anticipate this. With how that first recruiting class went for us in this video, not the one that the prior regime had, the one that, you know, Coach Maverick actually like put together with his blood sweat and tears this team is set up so nicely for the future bro as you can see there's only three seniors on the first row like honestly if we don't even do anything for like this year i can't even be upset because the team next year will be way better than the team this year so all in all dude i mean maybe we'll keep doing what we doing just surprising myself but i don't really expect anything particularly great i think next year though we'll probably have a great chance when we get natty i mean we'll see what happens man if we can keep this a weird magic going a big part of it though was dante reno last year like he just commanded the offense he's up to 99 away like all he does is what he's asked to do and that's all you need to do in this offense 19 touchdowns four interceptions is perfect just keep doing what you're doing dante because you have christian clock to carry you in this running back room is going to be so set for the future bro even if christian leaves us after this year which would suck obviously we have got so many good young studs like demetrius emmanuel and jamal griffin that guy's sick. i cannot wait for this kid dude 6 4 2 22 is a running back i love it dude i think on the recruiting trail this cycle though i'm going to try and go after some more offensive linemen can never have enough of these big boys we got a bunch of juniors and some freshmen too but i don't know i feel like there could be a little bit more youth in the o-line we didn't really get many last cycle and with that guy transferring that we had i forget what college he went to it kind of kills our depth a little bit so yeah we need to recruit some o-linemen this year that has got to be a priority coach maverick schedule this year though i'm gonna try and challenge myself a little bit more we're playing arizona week two i don't know how good they really are they're a top 25 team but so are we i just realized that whoa good job guys honestly it's probably earned after last year against notre dame speaking of them we got to play them once again since their arrival also air force and then army the final week of the season so honestly i mean if we could just win the american again i'll consider the season a success i mean all in all dude i think we're way ahead of schedule so i cannot complain dude let's just keep doing what we're doing man oh my goodness dude we're at 97 overall offense oh man this team is cooking 3 0 2 0 in the american this is going so well right now bro it's only what year four right and i hate to say it man but there's a chance that we could do some magic this year maybe some playoff stuff uh, Arizona beat them by seven UCSA in North Texas. So a lot closer games. The defense has really sucked so far this year. So that might be a red flag. We shall see. Recruiting though has been off to a pretty solid start. I mean, it's still early on. We already have what? Four commits, right? Jacob Small, Mario Wyatt. So an 83 and an 81 and a 76. Ooh, we're killed out of the trail. Then Shamad Oliver, offensive lineman. I got to try and see if there's any more alignment out there because he's the only one we have committed. So I got to try and do some more cleaning up on our recruiting board because I have not nine outside linebackers i'm going after right now that is just way too many bros so after this week i'm gonna try and scout some o linemen and see if we can find some more because just signing one this year i don't think it's enough i think we need to try and get at least one or two more so that'll be something that coach maverick uh, looks into that's for sure playing our rebel air force this week they're undefeated
undefeated, so this is actually a pretty interesting game. Triple option versus triple option. I'm looking forward to it. Give, give Todd. Let's go. Good job, Todd Donald. Okay, we got the lead. We're up 9-7. to seven. Kind of a strange score. I'm guessing we missed an extra point or something. But either way, we just need to score another touchdown. Get this thing to 16-7. to seven. That'd be good. X. Oh, circle's open. He beat him off the press. Make a throw. Let's go, laser. Good job, Joshua Jackson. Way to beat man-to-man -man coverage, bro. Literally the exact same score. It's the fourth quarter now. I think if we just get a touchdown, it should be GG's. The defense is finally playing some good football, man. It's nice to see. X, oh, it's open. Make the throw. Dante Reno, let's go. That was Christian Clock, too. Was the good job, Christian. Yeah, I don't think that this game is in doubt anymore. This thing's GG's. Finished out strong, but not perfect. Went 11 one I mean, I'm guessing just educated guess the loss was to Notre Dame. I mean, it should have happened last year. Okay, where was it? Uh, Tulane, Memphis, Charlotte. Oh, lost by two. Oh, man. That is a heartbreaker. The rest of these games, though, it looks like we really blew everybody else out. So after the Air Force game, we kind of went on a tear except for that Notre Dame loss. How did Dante do this year? Looking pretty good. 22 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Perfect, Dante. This guy, he's going to come back for another season. I don't see why he would go. It's not like quarterbacks really feature in our offense. I don't think NFL teams would be breaking Breaking down his door. Christian Clark, though, once again, was incredible. Did not get as many carries this year, I don't think. But he averaged 6.8 yards per rush and 19 touchdowns. Just phenomenal. Demetrius Emmanuel, he kind of ate into it. But both these guys are really young. They got bright, bright futures, man. Receiving Steve Darvin was our main guy. The 6'7". <laughs> This guy is so big, bro. I mean, there's so many weapons on offense, man. Defensively, Javonta Dean. I remember this guy. This guy was a stud. Uh, most TFLs, 14 for Ricky Ipalito. And he also got the most sacks. He's a redshirt freshman. Good job, Rick. And recruiting has just gone so well, dude. We needed a kicker, and we got one of the best ones in the country. We got so many good linebackers, as I talked about. But we also got a really good running back. I ended up picking up some offensive linemen. I mean, they're not great. Like, 72, 69, 67. Like, it's not spectacular, but it's not horrible either, I can't really be too upset. Got a quarterback, Courtney Finisson. I mean, I have no complaints, dude. I think the only complaint I have is, like, I signed, like, what? How many linebackers? Too many is the answer. Yeah, seven. So, eight in total. We're going to have to move some of those guys to the defensive line because that's just way too many, bro. But there was just so many that wanted to come here, man. Got the American Conference Championship now. As you guys can see, we are definitely better. So, we just need to go out there and show that. I don't see us losing, but, hey, it's possible. Kind of strange. The defense is carrying us right now. Some of the offense can't score. Hopefully, that changes right here though man maybe christian will get open right here dude oh my gosh get a sale for a stupid field goal the offense is definitely struggling hopefully they can figure things out because i don't know if three points is going to win us this game but it might be able to i guess we'll find out okay we actually scored a touchdown that's improvement okay but the thing is they have the ball in the red zone though which is like not good so defense trying to get a stop pick come on okay stepping up kill him kill him oh dude oh, I got baited. I got so baited, bro. I thought he was past the line of scrimmage. Oh, okay. I'm in. What is happening? What is going on? We're losing by four. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we need to try to get us tougher here. If we don't, we are screwed. Hand off. Tackle, please. No way. That's a first down. Okay. Yeah, that's GG's then, right? Yeah, I think that's GG's. Yeah, it is, man. They're just milking out the clock. I cannot believe we just got upset like that. So, so much for the playoff this year. That's obvious. Christian, you might not have done much in the Calvary Championship game. And that's stop you from winning the Heisman again, dude. Congratulations. That's another Heisman for Christian back to back. Did he win the Doak Walker? That's all I really care about now. Did he Heisman? No. Okay. No, he did not win the Doak Walker, so he did not get that goal yet. Dude, Dude, frick! But I'm sure you guys saw it. We're playing Army in the Military Bowl. I guess this is what we get for losing to USF in the American Conference Championship. I have no desire to play this. Obviously, we beat them in the regular season, so what's the point? So I'm just going to simulate it. This was kind of a lost season after that loss to USF. I mean, if we win, we win. If we lose, we lose. It doesn't really matter to me either way. And we won by 23, so I guess we're going out this year with a bang. Yeah, I could get set all I want, but next year is really the season I think that we're going to have a legit shot at making a run. But Christian, you got to stay for that to happen, dude. You're only projecting going to third round. Like, come on, Christian, come back, dude. Yeah, let's go, Christian Clock. And then we also have Dante coming back. I'm telling you, man, next year, something special's cooking up. Ryan Manning's gonna get drafted, and then we only have three guys graduating. Two of them were very important, like Timothy Williams was okay. Same with James Falk, but, I mean, that's three guys leaving. Actually, four. I forgot about Ryan, but still. Yeah, next year's team should be insanely good. This recruiting class, dude, number three in the country. Ten four-stars, dude. Hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> 
Ooh, Coach Maverick is cooking with gas, dude. Let's go. I'm so excited to look at this class. We only had two guys to go after on Saturday day, and it really wasn't hard to get either of them, so I didn't really talk about it. But we picked up Greg and Colby, making it a 19-man haul. And, dude, it is so freaking awesome. The only thing I can really complain about is the fact that I signed, like, 20 linebackers, which is annoying. But there was just so many good ones out there that were interested in us. And I'm not going to say no to a bunch of good linebackers, man. I can move into a defensive line or something like that. So, all in all, dude, definitely the best class for Navy. Really not even close. Like, Mario Wyatt's going to be a superstar. Jacob Small, Adam Franks. Like, look at all these linebackers that we got. Adonis Roberts. I mean, if your name's Adonis, you're going to do good things in life. It's as simple as that, dude. It's a cool name. And I'm pretty sure it's the name of, like, Creed's son or something like that. Adonis Apollo Creed. I feel like his name is Adonis. I don't know. I didn't watch the movies for uh, Creed. I think I watched the first one on a flight. But besides that, I have not seen the other ones. But we also picked up Jabril Jones, too. He looks good. I knew this team would be good. But I'll be honest. I am shocked by how good it is. Especially the offense. Like, the offensive line is insane. The running backs are insane. The quarterbacks are really good. And we have a good receiver. Like, there is a lot to like, dude. This team has a surprising amount of depth. I don't know what I did, like, in my first two recruiting classes in this video for Navy. But I gotta do it for all my other videos, dude. It's ridiculous. Like, there's so much good talent here, bro. I don't know. <laughs> it's awesome for me. We have a chance to win a national title in, what, year five or year six with Navy? That is not easy to do. But we have got the opportunity, Coach Maverick. Big reason for that is Dante Reno, 99 awareness, 96 overall. He didn't really go up that much of an overall, at least I don't think. Yeah, he only went up like what, plus three. It's not that much, but he just needs to do what he did last year. Maybe improve a little bit more and he will be fine because he's got other awesome players to help him out like Christian Clark at running back, Dontrell Holt at left guard, Javon Todd Dean at left outside linebacker, Devontae March the second. He's got Joshua Jackson at receiver, a really good offensive center, Derek Plaz. I mean, he's got another good receiver, the 6'7 Steve Darvin. And then we got a good backup running back, a good right tackle. Like, there's legitimately no holes on this team, which is hard to do in, what, five or six years? I think it's five. I gotta make sure. Yeah, dude, it's only year five. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating it, and maybe we'll, like, disappoint, but I'll be honest. I would not be shocked to see this team win a national title this year. I mean, we've gotta be in the top 25, right? I mean, come on. There's no way we aren't. Uh, are you serious? Really? Dude, 21? Oh, we're at 99 overall, dude. Let's go. The defense is lacking a little bit. Only 95, but yeah, dude, this team... <laughs> a special season might be ahead, boys. A special season might be ahead. In this game, week one on the road against Texas A&M will be a great indicator of how this season will go. I really want to win this game. I think it could kind of catapult us kind of like a rocket ship. It's a hopefully a really good season. So let's go out there and pull out the dub, boys. On the road, we got this. Already off to a beautiful start. We're up seven points. Uh, Yeah, let's just keep scoring, guys. I know the offense is going to be elite this year. So let's show that right here. I like this play a lot. X. So circle. Dude, oh my, Dante, that's an easy throw, man. How'd you miss that? I'm not going to act emotionally to Dante making an absolute quacker of a throw. I'm just going to take my field goal, go up two possessions, play it smart. Okay, there we go, up 10 points. Oh, okay, they're trying to make things close, which I do not exactly like, so defense. Okay, there's a stop right here, clutch up. Pick, pick, yes, let's go, go get six, go get six. <laughs> That's what I call a stop, boys. Let's go. What kind of stupid play call was that, dude? Oh, my gosh. A screen against man-to-man. -man. No, 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 baby. The third over of the game. Let's go, boys. All right, man. Doesn't really matter that they got a touchdown. I really couldn't care less. We just need to get a first down right here, and it should be GG's. It's a keeper. Go. Yes, Dante. Touchdown. Oh, yeah. He's down that fast. Okay. Definitely GG's now since we're in field courage, and we just got a first down. Good job, boys. Ah, oh, come on, dude. 11-1. Who did we lose to, man? I mean, it was a good season. I can't complain. Playing. I just really anticipated 12 and 0. I'll be honest. Who was the last? Was it not UAB or UTSA Air Force? Oh man, by 21, two wasn't even close. Oh. We bounced back, though, on every single game for the rest of the season. We destroyed Notre Dame. We did have some close games, though. We had a close game against Food, 52-49, and also a close game against Tulane. Both teams suck, too, so that's, uh, strange. Dante, I'm sure you had an awesome season. He threw for 2,200 yards, 25 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. Yeah, that's pretty dang good, especially for triple option offense. Rushing, though, Christian Clock. Once again, he balled out 7-4 yards per rush. If he just would have gotten the ball more, I think he would have had an insane season. 25 touchdowns. 
touchdowns, though. Demetrius kind of took it to his attempts a little bit. Same with Dante, but yeah, it looks like a lot of people got the ball. Even our backup quarterback got some rushes. Receiving Colin Snorway was our guy. So was Steve Darvin, the 6'7 monster, but you guys know. Receiving is not exactly the offense is uh, calling card by any means, but Javonta Dean was once again our leading tackler. Who got the most TFLs, though? JoJo with the cool hair thingy up there. I like that. You got the most sacks, too. Good job, JoJo. And finally, recruiting. It's gone beautifully. It's so easy to recruit now, dude. Coach Maverick is completely maxed out with recruiting. Got the instant commit thing going. A lot of guys want to come here. They see in the success of the program, you know, winners attract winners, man. That's just how it is. I mean, you wonder why all the athletes and rich people more often than not have very attractive wives. Well, you know, winners attract winners. It's the basic laws of the jungle, you know, like uh, it's never hard for a lion to find a mate because it's the king of the jungle. And now it's time for us to be the lion. We're playing Temple. This should be a win. Honestly, I want to dominate them after what happened in the America Conference Championship last year and we completely pooped the bed. So hopefully the boys are ready. I want to want to score first. R1 on the flat? Could that be a touchdown? Okafor, let's go! That was easy. Good job, Hamp. Up 13. I don't know what it is with our kickers and missing extra points, but they just go together like peanut butter and jelly, apparently, bro. Like, we just need to try to get a stop her here. We'll be okay. I'm just so annoying. Should I red commit? No. Okay, thank goodness I did not do that. And he's wide open anyway, so. I, maybe I should have red commit. Oh, well, he did not get a first down. <laughs> are they going to kick it now? Oh my gosh, they actually are. <laughs> oh, they're faking it. What the <laughs> CPF fakes kicks! Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> game's clearly over, but let's score again. Let's add some insult to injury, boys. Zarko? X. Oh, X. I can throw that. Yeah, right in between the seam. Oh, it's so sexy. Good job, Christian Clock. That's game over, dude. Another American Capper Championship for Coach Maverick. Pudge, dude. Christian didn't win the Doak Walker. Fish in fifth, so. If we end up winning the national title this year, we will be one Doak Walker award winner short of the goal, which means what do you will get 50 free dollars, so. It'll be interesting to see if we can win an Addy this year or not. In the playoff now, and we're in a weird situation. We're the five seed, but since the Air Force beat us, I kind of had to make them the four. So if we do win this game, we'll have a chance for revenge, which I tell you what, I cannot wait for. But we got to take care of Georgia Southern first. I do not see this game being close. There's 74 overall, and we scored on the first play of the game to Christian Clark for an 80 yard touchdown. So yeah, let's just do that again. Square? That might be a touchdown right there. Darvin, 6'7! 6'7! 6'7! Stevie, I love you, buddy. Who knows how this team went 12 and 1. This reminds me a lot of the team that we had that was an 82 overall. What did they go? Did they go like 12 and 1 too? I don't think we got killed like this in the playoff, but man, dude, this is just bizarre. Get out of there. Dante, fast boy. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be 42 to note that the half. I think the writing's on the wall in this one. <laughs> We know the matchup, our bitter rival Air Force. They beat us the regular season. We need to get revenge, dude. I still don't know how it happens, so I'm excited for this. It's a war so far early on. We're tied at seven. We have a chance to get a little uh, separation right here, though, so we need to take full advantage of it. Come on, offense. I got a good feeling about the pass. Yeah, triangle. He's wide open. Let's go. That's our backup running back. Good job, Demetrius. Oh, my gosh, dude. We're up four, but they have the ball at the goal line. Okay, just try to hold to a field goal defense. Screen. Get over this now. Tackle, please. Rally. Yes, let's go. Good job, boys. Way to rally to the ball. So they will be taking their three points. Good job, defense. You really needed to stop right there. And you guys came up clutch. Whoa, let's go. What happened? I don't know where all these points came from, but they're not even going for it on fourth and 15. Okay, then just don't muff the punt, right? Is it a fake? No fake. Okay, just don't muff the punt, Jackson. Perfect. No muff. All right, this should be GG's. I don't know what happened, to be honest with you. We just scored a lot of points very quickly, but I'm a fan. Let's go. Ooh, semifinal time. Are we going to play the number one seed, the Big Bad Miami Hurricanes? Honestly, dude, if we could just play how we have the last two rounds, I think we'll be fine. Am I crazy for thinking that a fullback dive should work pretty easily right here? Hamp, 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 let's go. Good push by the O-line. That was beautiful. Right before the half, we're still up seven points, so I can't really be upset, especially considering the fact that we can make a 14 right here. We just got to execute. R1, that's touchdown. They left him. Dante, what a throw. Let's go. <laughs> Nice up. Pew, 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 pew. Let's go. I don't know how to explain it. All I know is that I'm just going to look at it and I'm just going to smile. That's all I'm going to do. We are obliterating that. Let's just score again. I like smiling, so let's just keep doing what we're doing. X? No, it's not it. This is our backup quarterback. I just realized that. Ooh. Oh, he got sacked. <laughs> well, it doesn't really matter. We're up 28 points. It's going to be 31 after we make this kick. Fortunately for us, I think the writing's on the wall. Did I miss it? No, I made it. 
Okay, thank goodness. Yeah, just a dominant performance, bro. Let's keep playing like this, man. I love it. And here it is, guys. The last roadblock on our path to a national title. Oklahoma, the sixth seed. So they've definitely earned their due all the way to the national title game. So I don't expect it to be easy, but I hope it is. Certainly not the best start for us. Already down 10 points. Not ideal. But hey, there's plenty of time left. We're going to be okay. I'm not going to stress out. Okay, Tanner, we got this. Let's fullback dive this bad boy. We got number 69 in there. He's a big old offensive lineman. Yeah, you're not going to stop him. Come on now. Good job, Cantrone. Gosh dang it, dude. We're down 10 again. What the frick? Okay, it's fine. I got this. We're going to be okay. Just score seven right here, Tanner. The defense will show up, I promise. Eventually, they will at least. X, touchdown. Shit, no way. No way out. Yeah, let's go. He's scoring. Good job, buddy. See, I told you, dude. Don't stress out. Even though it's all I do in life, it's fine. We're down three. You know what? Let's score a touch right here. We're going to be A-okay. Griffin, on the seam. Griffin, go. Catch. Jamal, go to the outside. Let's go. It's going to be a touchdown, Jamal Griffin. It's like a third string running back. Good job, buddy. This is where the rubber meets the road. I never knew what that saying actually meant, but I'm saying it right now. I think that means where it ends or something like that. Who knows? No clue. All I know is we need to get a first under here and it should be GG's. I don't know why Christian Clark is not in the game. That makes negative sense. Hopefully we don't need him. We don't need him. Oh my God. This guy's a monster, dude. Jamal Griffin. I wish I could have had him at running back earlier in this video because the backfield with him and Christian Clark would have been so good, dude. Okay. I think it's GG's. We'll see for sure. But goodness gracious, dude. That guy's a monster. Yep. It's over. Hallelujah. Let's go, Coach Maverick. So for the third time this video and with the third different team, we get to hoist up a national title for now. Army, Air Force, and officially Navy. Good job, Coach Maverick. So proud, dude. I don't know how it only took us five years with Navy. I'll be honest. Honest, like I said before the season even started, I don't know how he got so good so fast, but hey, dude, it was an absolute blast. I freaking loved it, dude. Coach Maverick, man, living legend. And if you enjoyed, click the video on the screen where I put a Division Three school in Division One FBS. I think you'll love it.